Today, we talk about... Welcome to Inside You Podcast. I am Jordan Rosengarten. Sadra Azizi. What's going on, Sadra? How you doing? Chill, man. It's been, what, a month? It, it's been about a month, right? Yeah, yeah. What have you been up to? I've been out in Iowa working. Were, you ever seen any crazy shit? Uh, I wouldn't say crazy. No, no staples um, this time. No, one no staples. Staple. Got okay. swallowed this time, but someone had a steak stuck in their uh, esophagus, so I had to... Come in to take care of that. That was Shit. great. But oh um, what, what does that entail? Like taking care of it, do you pull it out? Or uh, well, ideally you don't have to pull it out because okay. pulling it out is quite the bitch. Right. Um, because, uh, you know, depending on the food that gets stuck, steak uh-huh. and uh, chicken are like the worst. Mm. Uh, pork can be pretty bad. Yeah. Fish is like the easiest just because it's like flaky. Right. Um, steak, uh, meat in general is not as big of an issue for me, like beef and lamb or whatever compared to chicken. But, okay. Uh, what you want to do is try and gently push it into the stomach, and then that way they get the nutrients still. Eh? Yeah. Uh, but um, you just hear the digestive yeah. uh, enzymes, the, the acids breaking it down. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, you you see it like depending on how long they take to come in. Really? Sometimes they'll come in like <clears throat> days after it's been stuck there. I'm like, what were you doing? Right. But but over time, the saliva and the enzymes in your saliva are already pre-digesting it, so it doesn't look like what it looked like on the way down. You would think like it's not digested yet; it's going to look exactly the same. <clears throat> right. If they came in right away sure but depending on how long they take to come like this guy came in like on a wednesday night and well, he said it got stuck like sunday so, so i was gonna say so sunday gets stuck but was he he was just eating an entire steak and just yeah usually people aren't taking a big enough bite or they're in a rush so they're like oh i gotta take my kids to the thing so then they you know stuff a big piece down and, and then, then he waited to see you though yeah i was like what are you doing but, <laughs> right but i mean they, they obviously no one wants to go to the doctor right so they uh <laughs> so they uh will come up with different methods to get rid of it so they're either drinking water to make it go down and they're gagging it up they're trying to self-induce vomit that's not working so depending on how badly it's stuck um and a lot of times it's it will catch people off guard not even by their own fault but maybe a lot of times because they have silent reflux right. or even reflux that they feel but they ignore and then over time that acid causes strictures and tightening and then things will get stuck there so this guy could definitely do porn now I mean, <laughs> he, he's he's re- he's ready he's, t- he's totally ready that's insane dude yeah um so you're telling me before we start the show that we're getting some feedback um, by the way, that opening intro, I know that intro music, it blows. I, I, and I know, I, I know like you were busting my balls on it. I wasn't busting your balls. I was like, this is the feedback. I, I'm well, no, it. no, but it's fine. But like when you were telling me the feedback, I could see in your eyes, like, yeah, I kind of agree, which is fine. No, like, actually, I, 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 just to clarify, I don't this. hate the music, okay. but, but again, I'm not a huge music guy. Okay. What I didn't like about it, my only feedback <laughs> personally was that it's too long. I think we should shorten it up. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I, it's definitely too long, but but I think that it's def, it's just like stock music. I, yeah, yeah. I, no, we're working on it. I'm not worried about it. I think it. If, if we have a listener who's like really talented and like can make us like a custom intro, I'm down. Like, uh, I'm, but we'll, we'll try different things sure. and, and stuff like that. And then the other feedback was that um, I'm creepy, <laughs> <laughs> which is not as much feedback as is just accurate. <laughs> I'm like, oh, someone listened to the show. They're like, who's that creepy guy that uh, makes a sexual innuendo? I'm like, yeah, that, that's Jordan. Yeah. So, so they haven't been acquainted. That, that, that seems to be the issue no i can definitely be creepy i can definitely be creepy um i Can't think so we all but that's it. i think sometimes people don't like they don't understand that like i'm very dry so yeah people just have to get to know you better because i hear you take, tell a joke and i'm like oh yeah that's hilarious but i'm right. also a dude and right. i know you so. but it's also like in per i think when you're on the radio you always like you're the more exaggerated version of yourself yeah, yeah, yeah. and then like if i meet someone in person you're always taking the time to like level with them to make sure they're on the level and then you start this is who I am. Right, right. But like on the radio, I'm just like, boom, you know, just unzipping my flag, balls out. I'm like, this is me. So um, they're going to love that, by the way. <laughs> they're going to be like, he hasn't learned his lesson. Um, but anyway, so that's the feedback from the show. But I think the positive feedback is that people really want to hear, they, they, they want to hear, they want to hear more. Um, they love the, the content. They love the medical content. Yeah, but yeah. they That's said, why like, we have our special guest. For sure. Us. They want to hear more of that. So uh, we brought on a an expert, a gynecomastia expert. Uh, someone who is uh, a master in his field. His name is Dr. Jonathan Leibowitz, and we have him here today. What's going on, Doc? Hey, how you doing? Welcome. What's so uh, anyway, get back to you. What? What? You're you're a GI guy, so it's fifty percent up, fifty percent down. Uh, I would argue probably seventy five percent down. Seventy five percent down. Yeah, because everyone needs a screening colonoscopy at right. fifty plus. So uh, that's like a routine thing. That's like our bread and butter, if you will. Where do you get more money? The the top or the the bottom? Uh, the, bottom. the bottom. The bottom is, is, is because a, it's, it's a, like a surcharge. 
Uh, I mean, if you want to talk about Unfortunately, our, our business models are very different, so uh, I don't know that I've ever heard of it. Right. He came here in a Ferrari. Like you came here on a bicycle. <laughs> that, that's, that's the important distinction here. <laughs> yeah. But, no, I mean, it's, right. it's a tougher procedure because it's longer. Like, the scope will kink more often and loop. So it's and, – and the upper scope is very short. It's just esophagus, stomach. Yeah. Like, that's it. But the colon is a long motherfucker. So. I mean, when I was in practice, in, in, in training, actually, we, we did the rigid one, you know, the, oh, the yeah. long and hard one. Now now it's now it's thin and, and uh Yeah, it's crazy to see how much soft. the tech has evolved. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> it's great. So, so, Doc, how did you get yeah. started? Because uh, we were talking <laughs> off the air and, and, and the idea of, well, first for anyone who's listening who's who's probably saying, what the F is gynecomastia? Can you explain yeah. it for people? Well, gynecomastia just means women like breasts. And, you know, I, I kind of joke around. Like, like on, on a man, of, on a man. On, so. on, on men, women like breasts on men. Yes. So, I mean, people, I, I just had on the drive, on the Uber drive here, I had somebody who said, oh, I, I want to know if I've got gynecomastia. Can I show you pictures? Can I send you <clears throat> photos? Can, I, can, we, can we do a, you know, a FaceTime? Can I come in? And, and I jokingly say, well, I mean, if you're asking, you have it. You know, it's like, it's right. like otherwise you wouldn't be asking. And uh, that's kind of the, the crux of it and uh in our environment now you know kids and selfies and instagram and youtube and uh you know everybody's like uh uh want to want to emulate a model and they want the perfect abs the perfect the perfect chest uh um you know hairless bodies and right. you know so so everything is is kind of hypersensitive on on males uh you know young teenagers you know, middle-aged bodybuilders, we can get all into that stuff about right. about steroids and stuff. And even the old guys may be going through life changes of a divorce or uh, or cheating. But, but where did you see the turn happen? Because when you first got into, when you first started practicing, was it, were you specifically involved in gynecomastia or was that something that you saw happen in terms of the demand and people, there was, a, there was an interest in it? Well, I mean, male plastic surgery now is is really, uh, uh, um, uh, really exploding. You know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, women, uh, plastic surgery, nose jobs, boob jobs, you uh, <clears throat> You know Brazilian butt lifts. You know s s sticking fat in someone's ass. Right, right. You know is is you know it's always been there, but but guys are kind of getting on the bandwagon now. I mean you can even you know Botox is Brotox. Uh, <laughs> you know. Uh, oh you know, God. You know they 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 even have something called Scrotox now. What is Scrotox? Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, you know <laughs> you please, please know. tell me, and I'm gonna drop my pants as you describe it. <laughs> it's Scrotox. It's. Uh, uh, Scrotal Botox. Uh, yeah. Trying to get rid of the wrinkles for porn, yeah, I you guess. Right? You yeah. get rid of the wrinkles. Yeah. Right. That makes sense, I guess. <clears throat> so, well, so, that, so then, you know, I I feel that in the past... Um, probably I mean, there, there's even guys in, yeah. you know, in New York, you kind of can't do it, but I, I I have a friend of mine in L.A. that does fillers and penises. You know, like <laughs> really? uh, Juvederm, Radius... Uh, you know, uh, you know, and uh, they, they. Well, no one in this room has any need for that, all right? <laughs> no, Let's no, be no, very I, clear. I doubt that. I don't think <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, but we, yeah, we'll talk after. But, the show. but, but we yeah. haven't checked. We haven't. You know, <laughs> we haven't compared yet. Not, not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Uh, when we get a couple beers in, maybe. <laughs> right. um, no, so I don't have penis envy, by the way. I have Botox envy because I also use Botox, but I probably don't make a fraction of what you get to charge for it. So well, mine's you, all internal and purely. Well, medical. we got a couple of Jewish guys here too. So <laughs> you know, we have to, we have to give a little. Uh, well, just I want to get back to you. Like that. Well, right. I'm just curious, Sajra, what do you use both tax for? Because I've never heard so, the GI said it. Yeah, so if you think about it, botulinum toxin, it's literally a toxin and it's uh, stunning the muscle, right? Okay. So, and you use that for wrinkles and external things, which is great, fine. Mm. But for what I use it for is like when you have pylorus muscles and internal sphincter <laughs> muscles that are too tight or mm. your esophagus is too tight and, and for specific conditions you need to inject Botox to kind of have it open up. I also use tattoos, but uh, it's internal tattoos for tagging. It's not for us right. aesthetics. So. so the whole idea of what Botox is, what does it essentially do? It, t it tells the muscle to contract? Or? It's, no, it's keeping the muscle from doing what it's doing. So. And you could probably explain it. Yeah, I, I mean, say, yeah, so. you know, if you want to, uh, you know, have a, have a term, it's a neuromodulator. Okay. So it modulates the the uh, uh, the nerve firing into the muscle. I mean, if you think about, you know, back in uh, eighth grade when you did the muscle and the and the and the nerve going to it, there's the, you know these fi these ATPs and DNPs and PDQs and you know so so when the nerve goes down, it fires the muscle right. to contract. This kind of is a lock and key type of thing. So when the when the nerve fibers, it, it you know there's this little boat or ferry that goes across the the, the from the nerve to the muscle and uh, the Put it this way: the um, uh, in, in the boat scenario, the 
the um, what, what I'm looking for the uh, the dock has already been filled, so that the the new neuro the actual neuromodulator can't get in there because there's already a boat in there and a, a fake boat, uh, and that's bo- Botox. Interesting. So and, and, and it's such a variety of uses because I know I get migraines and it was recommended yeah. to me for my migraines. Yeah. And the first I'm thinking Botox, like yeah. my, I have good skin. What are you talking about? Sure. Thank you. But 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 it, but it, that's it's it's a it's a treatment for that. So, so I mean, there's there's also off labels you can do it on a, a guy that has uh, um, you know uh, a sweaty palm, sweaty palms, yeah, sweaty mm. pits. Uh, they do Botox right into the into to the armpits. And again, that helps. It closes the pores up, and, and it, it it actually works the same way. So the nerve that goes in there mm. to fire those little sweat glands, uh, it stops it. So fascinating. So, yeah. So, so it's uh, it it really a Botox is kind of you can do. Literally from GI, uh, urinary, uh, um, GU, uh, plastics, uh, uh, neurology. Uh, uh, you know, in the <clears throat> um, in the uh, Asian community, they want small calves, mm. so they do Botox in the calves to 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 atrophy them. Interesting. Uh, in, in that, it's it's really. Uh, it, it's you see it's, you see it's like when I was a kid and I heard about it I was like oh, that's a crazy you know procedure or whatever and now you hear so many people just getting it people it, do it on themselves it's like, cr- yeah oh yeah it's like so, so <laughs> commonplace where I feel like people who aren't even nurses or doctors like you said like they're just doing it like left I mean and right. they can do it on themselves but then you're gonna have one one <laughs> one eyebrow that's gonna be like you look <laughs> right. like you have a stroke you know? right there are people who do surgery on themselves too but let's not get into that you <laughs> know right. yeah. but, but so here's the thing Doc. I want to ask you so 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 obviously you know you're going to you go to med school and you say okay I want to I want to obviously be in the, in the, the healthcare you know, the industry, I want to do, you go into medicine in some, right. some capacity, right? Right. What makes you think, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do plastic surgery. You know, at what point, like, what was the eureka moment? Was it, sure. I mean, for some people it is financial, but, but some, no, but, I get but, what you're asking me. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's really who you kind of, um, uh, um, uh, you, you kind of bond with mm. dur- during your, you know, in medical school, you got the two years of didactic where you sit in a room and you, 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 you textbooks and, and you, and then two years of kind of going out there and, uh, and going to hospitals and doing things. So it's two years of didactic, two years of, of, of in, in hospital rounds and right. stuff. So, you know, and there's two basic things. There's, there's medicine and there's surgery. Mm-hmm. And you kind of say, okay, um, am I a medicine type of guy rounding on patients four times a day and, and you know, and stuff like that? Or, or am I a surgical type of guy where I want to get my hands down and dirty right. into t- type of things? And it's who you kind of bond with and emulate with and your friends and, and you kind of follow the path of, of 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 who you like, uh, with me it was a surgical route. It wasn't mm. like, oh, I'm going to sit in front of a you know in uh, at the at the foot of a table of a of a bed talking about someone's um, you know uh, 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 ulcers for right. for uh, for for twenty minutes. You hear that? <laughs> hey, luckily, uh... no. But but he's you're kind of like a, a hybrid. You know? Yeah, I'm a yeah, hybrid. I was so kidding. I knew kind of hybrid. Too, yeah, I was like, I don't want to talk about ulcers for 20 minutes either. So right. I'm gonna go a little more procedural. But <laughs> so, so when you went in, was it a general surgery track into plastics, or was yeah. there a plastic specialty back then? Or? No, I I I went to Case Western Reserve uh, University, undergraduate, and then medical school. Okay. Um, and then um, uh, did the you know four years of undergraduate. Four years in medical school. <clears throat> then we we something called Match, which we go and I I, I went back into uh, uh, Newark, actually, mm-hmm. believe it or not, UMDNG, where I did like a trauma thing, where I cracked chests and and and, and you know all kinds of you know <laughs> vicious horrible stuff. Yeah. You know gunshots and and all kinds of uh, stuff. Stuff that keeps you up at night. It keeps up at night. <laughs> I get flashbacks from it. Oh now. yeah, no, I I would go. Did to you sleep. see you saw some really crazy shit, huh? Oh no, I would go to sleep with literally blood on my underwear. It was, it was <laughs> on your underwear. Oh my. It, it, it's soaked through. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah. Um, and then uh, so so four five years of that. Sorry about that. Five years of that yeah. crap. But it was fun. It was yeah. it was it was kind of. Uh, but then after that, I went to um, back to Cleveland to the Cleveland Clinic, mm. where I did my hand fellowship because I wanted to f- figure out if I like hands. Um, and I did plastics. And, du- and during that time, are you just looking at people like, yeah, I could fix that. I could fix that nose. I could fix that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> do, do you have like like were you ever did you come from that background and you like where you because I know people who are artists when they're younger, they, they, they right. you know, they'll do certain things that you know, they see. And I feel like being a plastic surgeon, you are an artist. You're not just doing right. surgery to do it. You're doing it. You know what you do is it's aesthetic. So so did you always have that eye where you're like, I can look at somebody and say they're good looking, but if they just did this and that, they could perfect that or it can pre- like. Where, did you always have that mindset? I mean, somewhat. You, you look at you know noses. You look at uh, uh, boobs. You look at. Uh, um, 
anything uh, you know, faces and say, I, you know, if they do this a little bit, if they do this a uh, little bit. But, you know, something people are beautiful no matter what they are, inside, outside. It really, you know, a beautiful person is, is really emulates in my in my. Uh, in, in my thought, you know, confidence. You can right. be you can be ugly as sin and right. be and be an absolute confident person. Right. You can be three hundred pounds and be confident, and you're going to be beautiful. Right. Which is it's funny because I'm going to show you. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, what, what's what's funny is, uh, and I'm going to show you in a second. I I, got, I took a bunch of photos from uh, actors <laughs> who who uh, you know they show the latest photos of these men. Oh yeah. And they have a guy no oh, coming yeah. down to here. And they have, I mean, they're, you know, wealthy people. They have, they, have the, they have the means to be able to get this done. They don't give a shit. They're just walking you know, around like. You know, you, you don't want it. I mean, you, you know, you can be, uh, I mean, to, to really, a, a, a male body, to really get a fit, you got to eat nothing, right. only protein. You got to exercise eight hours a day. I know nothing about that. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you know, so you, you can picture like, like, like Zac Efron, yeah, yeah. you know, or you can picture his buddy. Um, well, I don't want to say it, you know, I don't want but, but, but to. But the funny thing about it is, you know, people say, oh, it's got to be so hard but these people when you have a million dollar contract to be in a film right and that's right. why that's why a lot of times when they get older they let themselves go and it, it, it's like it's your job it's that, your job that's why you're doing it and, and i think sometimes people say well everyone in hollywood gets plastic surgery it's because they're vain i don't i, I actually I don't, don't agree. think so i don't agree right i, think I don't think everybody you know you you look right. at um you know these actors who are a-listers young guys and they get a little older you know they 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 kind of it's um, not vanity when you have a when you have a million dollar contract that says I got to be in Die Hard fifty <laughs> and I'm going to be ninety years old, but I got to look like how I looked when I was thirty. It's like, uh, yeah. I mean, it's true. My my <laughs> clientele. I mean, I've done some a listing movie stars. I've done done this, but you know something? It's the cops. It's the business. It's the right. it's the fire guys. It's the guys who, uh, you know. I mean, we can talk everything from from kids going through puberty twelve years old to who email me all the time. They can't do certain skins. They can't uh, do this. This bothers them. Well, will it go away? Will it not go well, away? Well, what about the talk about that? So, so we, we kind of <laughs> typically which shows up in, 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 in you Puberty. know, so, right. so talk about that because that's very interesting. I feel a lot sure. of people don't know how that works. So, well, you know, when, when, when you're younger and, you know, with lack of, of saying anything, when your balls start to, start to wake up, uh, still it, waiting, <laughs> still waiting. <laughs> you know, it, uh, it, 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 it produces testosterone. Now, now it depends upon, and, and again, you're now, uh, let me, let me uh, digress a little bit. When you are, Come out of mm. your of your mom. Boys sometimes have breast buds because mm. they got the excess estrogens in in their body. Do we all have the tissue in there? In other yeah, words, yeah. Okay, yeah. so even people who don't have gyno have tissue. Oh, I I can inject you with, uh, you know, do a do a do a Caitlyn Jenner on you, oh, and you'll and it'll grow, and you'll right, right. Okay, so, and so that's all men. So there's no men who are not born with is, is there zero tissue. So so all, all people, all men are born with some form of a breast tissue. A breast bodies. tissue, and it's the estrogen that, that will you know when the ovaries start to work in girls, uh, where the boobs start, the breasts start to form. Interesting. Um, and guys, uh, it's it's it, it's the opposite. But there's a level. There's a sensitivity. There's um, um, and, and we can talk about this even more, but but the the in the uh, in the short answer, it's a level of testosterone to estrogen, um, and the aromatization of estrogens into into testosterone. Mm. That's why you know heavier people have more fat, and fat will aromatize um, or change the excess estrogen into testosterone, mm. and uh, and that happens in fat tissue. Um, so people who are heavy set, it's not always the fact that they just, that their chest is just, it's just fat. Sometimes the fact that they're fat is affecting Well, that's called pseudo gynecomastia. Okay. But, but, but where you're saying something different though, you're saying that, that sometimes just being heavy will affect your hormones. So exactly. That, got it. Exactly. Okay. Because uh, heavy people have higher level of estrogens. Now, now also testosterone levels 10 years ago were double what they are now. Is that? What is that? I don't know. Is it the hormones we have, the chicken, uh, the, the 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 bottled water we we drink, the PBAs and bottled? Do you think water? so? Because I've heard that, and it sounds the it's, antibiotics. It's, it sounds like when people tell me that, I always it sounds like um, like flat Earth kind of stuff. But then you look it's into not. it. No, no, I don't. But I, I just for me, it's like, is it really like? Is it chicken and, and bottled water that's you know, making us grow breasts? But then you look around, and it's like I've never seen as many people with tits before. Like I'm talking about men right. and who have this issue. And maybe I'm more tuned into it or maybe we as a society are more tuned no, into it. No, you're looking at it because people are, you know, they want to wear, you know, stringers. They want right. to wear, <laughs> you know, they want to wear something. Right. And also their posture. People are like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. they're like hunching over and they're and they're doing all, uh, 
you know, woe is me type of thing instead of shoulders back, stomach in, arms, you know. Do you notice that even post-surgery, so you take the gyno, you take the, the, yeah. the breast tissue, but people still have the same posture as if no. they used to have. Oh, no, so it's like it, a, it's a, it's, it's it, 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 it clicks in their minds where they get the gyno out, you know, they, they stand more straight right. and their shoulders Confidence back and, and they, and they, you know, keep their, 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 their core in, their unabunda, if you want to call it in, uh, <laughs> In you know, in Namaste type of language. Can yeah. I ask you? Uh, and maybe it's not good for business, but spironolactone, aldactone, any role for that? In I mean, you know something. If you started, uh, yeah. I mean, if you start an anti uh, estrogen um, early, like at twelve years old, not that a mother is going to give their twelve year old kid who's got breast buds uh, tamoxifen, which is a cancer drug. Uh, um, uh, it, it's just not going to happen. Right. Uh, no, I, I wouldn't do it to my kids. You wouldn't do it to your kids. Um, and by the time it's 16, 15, 16, 17 years old, and it's still there, it's set in. It's, right. it's, it's taken a foothold. Because, because aside from it being, uh, you know, aesthetically unpleasing, there's no, it's funny, I was actually with Sadra, we were, we were having a private conversation about this, I think maybe a few weeks ago, maybe oh, a month yeah. ago, I remember. And, and I had said something which I just checked, it's <laughs> not actually true, but I, I had thought that. When you have gyno, it's necessary. It's it's cancerous or this or that. No, it, everybody. It, you know, people say, "Oh, I was 13 years old and we got an MRI, we got an ultrasound." You know, that's BS. Right. I got I got my testosterone checked uh, or my prolactin checked. I mean, you, you you could have a pituitary tumor, you know, and and have a prolactin excess and cause that. Also, certain drugs like I mean, everybody wants to keep their hair, so they're on Propecia, finasteride. That causes it. There's lawsuits about that. I've uh, heard that. I've heard because the Propecia is. is yeah. It's, it's it's DHT or something like that. Yeah. Affects DHT. So I know a lot of people who go on Propecia, they, they get very depressed. Right. And they have suicidal thoughts. <laughs> right. And maybe two hairs grow back. And then, right. And then, and then you know, they have the breast tissue happen. Right. So. Right. There's that uh, – also the lawsuit is a class action suit. It never it – never about uh, the anti-psychotic drug. Uh, what is that? Um, I forgot. Um, well, we were talking about it. I was trying to think about it. It was not Lexapro, right? Not 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 Lexapro. Because the, they're a sponsor. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, no. It's, <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought it was. Uh, it was. Um, I wish they were a sponsor. I get free meds. No, <laughs> need n- it. no. It's a boner drug. Oh, is it um, a Viagra? Yeah. No. With that I'm on. No, that is sponsored. <laughs> I was gonna say. Oh, yeah. They're, they're definitely. They should be a sponsor. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, but that's amazing that you can take the, some of these pharmaceutical drugs, and and one of the side effects is that you know you're gonna have higher estrogen and yeah. and. Uh, I mean, listen. The, 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 I would bet that that's the least of your problem. I'm sure, a lot of these have har- much worse side effects of that. But, but it's it's visually, it's a terrible thing that you can literally develop this thing. Because a lot of my clients, I'm a, I'm a trainer, and a lot of my clients, you know, we have there's things you can do. You lose body fat, you right. can gain muscle, and I even think to a degree, even if one guy was there, when you build the upper chest, you see it less, 100. Right. percent But I'm very I'm very straight with them because I know what it looks like. I'm like. You look great, but that little piece of tissue that we have there—that is—that is breast tissue. That's, I can't work that right. out. I can't. I can't get rid of that. The only way that's coming out is surgically. Right now, now go into bodybuilders and stuff of like that. Let, let's talk about steroids and pro hormones yep. and drugs. You know, every, everybody you know wants to take this stuff, and nobody's natural. You 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 have a great body. You have a six pack. You're right. you're you're etched and 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 stuff. They're on something. Let, right. let, let me tell you. Uh, even though they say they're, they're natural. How do you know, Doc? Have you seen my lab work? Come on. Yes, right. you, you're assuming a lot here. They're on. Uh, is that a needle coming out your side? <laughs> uh, um, you know, they're on something. And, and, and it yeah, could yeah. be something GNC from, from right. a store, something, some stuff they had, that they, they got. Did you hear about these stories about GNC? I think it was maybe 10 years ago. They got in trouble because one of the supplement companies were putting actual hormones, steroids, yeah. in there. And people are like, oh, why would they do that? Well, it doesn't cost that much to put it in there. But, it, but when you take the stuff if you're like oh shit this pre-workout got me jacked you're gonna keep on you can keep on buying it but the problem is that if you're a girl who takes it or if you're a guy and all these side effects are happening that's a huge liability so they tested it and sure enough they were putting they were crushing up d-ball or whatever the equivalent of that and they got sued for so much money because these girls were taking it and they started talking like me you know it it, it was (laughs) and you can get the stuff by by someone's you know bathroom making it uh you get the crystals the testosterone or the it's such a trend yeah yeah, it's easy you can go on a you can get it, uh, and 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 sure, you can you can get your testosterone level up uh, to twelve hundred, fifteen hundred, but it's a big spike. Right. And and then you have to get acne and back knee and what? and uh, well, you know. well, I, I know you're not you're not an, an endo, but I'm sure just being on the other side of it, you you know a lot about it. So, right. So so the idea is that when you bring your testosterone up so high so quickly, your body is now having to convert a lot of that, and it's converting right. more than so. If you so even if it's not as high as your testosterone, the estrogen is so high that your body doesn't know. As a male, how to how to? Is it's right? going to aromatize into estrogen, and, right. and they take the, 
the um, you know the anti-estrogen drugs like tamoxifen um, and stuff to to inhibit that. But then if you bring your estrogen level too low, you become lethargic. You can't get out of bed. You need estrogen. You know, males need estrogen in their bodies. Which is probably another reason, like to answer your question, why why um, when you brought up like why do people just take anti-estrogens to solve the problem? A lot of times people have very, from what I understand, very negative side effects on these right. things. Even women who are taking them for breast cancer, like it's it's not like a fun drug to take because. When you're dropping that estrogen low, it's you know your bones crack. I mean, you just feel like shit. Right. Yeah, so, definitely important. But um, so actually, yeah, I, I just got reminded of a question. Uh, how much of what you're seeing is, especially nowadays, uh, any rise in popularity with transgender surgeries? And you know, so I, I, do you play any role in that? I, you know, I I've gotten a, um, a, a quite a few consultations for that, um, um, and uh, um, I've done a couple. Um, not as many as I would think. Not as many as I would think. Uh, m- my, you know, m- most that, of my. Is that because of the new uh, Snapchat filter where they can yeah. already <laughs> show you? <laughs> That's brand new. Um, no, no. It's, it, I, I haven't gotten as many. And, and, and they're difficult. If they fully fledged breasts, they're, you know, they've got excess skin. And you've got to do technology and techniques that I have right. to do that. But it's a whole other ballgame. Because it? it's, it's not just a man who's growing female. It's actual breasts that you're removing and you're trying to make them look more masculine and, and things like that. Exactly. So most of them do the excisions with, with nipple grafting, which mm-hmm. uh, leaves you scars. And, uh, but it's, it's acceptable it's, uh, uh, for that. I, I think right. in guys, it's not. Mm-hmm. Uh, transgender, it might be more acceptable. Mm-hmm. To have the scars around there, to uh, um, uh, just to get rid of this albatross that's that this albatross that's a, uh, around your, you know, that's holding you back. Right. It is your it life. Is, it is interesting, you know, talking about you know the transgender community because because when um, you speak to people who are like I, you know, I was born this way and I but I f- <laughs> do not these breasts that are on me like I this. It's you can in a way relate when you have a man who has breasts who's like I don't want this shit on me. Right, and it's like psychologically. You know, my thought process is that, like, if I had a daughter, you know, and she was over the age of 18, right. she's out of the house or whatever, and she can make decisions, and she was like, these breasts, for whatever reason, whether she's transgender, whether they're too big, whatever the reason is, I'm like, yeah, here's the money. Let's get it done. Because I could, you can almost understand, like, having something on your body right. that's such a visual sore to you. That's so, you know, yeah. I'm just like. I mean, that part is definitely more in your face, but uh, I'm more curious I mean, about the sometimes. lower end. Do you, do you deal with those kinds of surgeries, too, the... Um, no, no? That, that that's a, that's a special type type of thing where they've they've got because I've uh, seen the YouTube videos. It's insane. Like, it's insane. Yeah. It's insane. I, I've watched the same YouTube videos you did. Uh, it, <laughs> it's insane. I, I must be going to the wrong sites. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Wasting yeah, my time. Me, if, you, if you just Google male to female surgery, oh, is that right? Uh, there's a beautiful oh, they animation. Slice it and they do. It's, it's yeah. no, it's not. An, I've I've seen actual. Oh, you saw the actual one. I saw the animation video. that kind of shows breaks down oh, the steps, you, which was pretty. Does helpful. that gross? You? Like, well, can you watch a surgery? I mean, obviously, what you do, you not grossed out because you do it, but I'm saying the surgery like that. Does that does any kind of surgery gross you out? So can you no. watch, so you can watch literally a penis being hacked to bits and it doesn't do it, it won't. I mean, it gets me a little. little yeah. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm sure you're not happy about it. You're not. No, you're not, it's, you're, it's, not, I, you're not gonna be eating a sandwich while you look at it. But <laughs> no. but, but but for you, I would I would assume just because when you're carving through a body, and I'm, I'm, I, could, I would ask this to any surgeon, it's it's like you have to have a certain stomach for that. Well, I mean, you know, something I I do it on the local. I I'm, I'm one of the only ones in the world that does you know. This type of surgery on, on on under local. Everybody else puts them to sleep. So, so local is local anesthesia, meaning that they're awake during the whole procedure. Just Novocaine, a lot of okay. Novocaine, like a dentist, and it's kind of fun because we we actually have a, a, an enjoyable time. We talk, we laugh, we make jokes. We, you know, I, I, it's 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 actually a, a very pleasant experience for me and for the patients right. and for my staff. That's cool. I mean, you're watching your videos, because that's how I found you. I, I was, um, I'm was i from the bodybuilding world, so <laughs> Ghana Kamas is very known within that community because right. a lot of these guys are taking stuff, and you know they wake up one morning, and you know they're like, oh, I see something or whatever, and, and they get it removed for multiple reasons. One, some of them, they know they're going to be taking more stuff because they have to compete, so they know to become a 310-pound you know, competitor, they're going to have to be taking X, Y, and Z. Right. So it's like, you know what, let me avoid it before I even get to that point and I'll just get it removed. I, I've talked to guys who, yeah. before it even looks bad, they just get the, they just get it cut well, I mean, out. It's, there's a, there's a, a, a friend of mine actually, actually had a, you know, uh, mentioned this, a, a scenario of, let's say, you know, you, you have a car, right? And a car is an engine, right? Mm. And to run the engine, there's gas, correct? If you take the engine out, the gland, okay? Get the metaphor? Mm. You can put as much gas into the, en- into the car that you want testosterone, and the car will never run. So once you remove the gland, um, 
the engine's gone of the car. You can put as much gas, testosterone, or whatever the hell you want to put into you. Um, the, ne- the, the engine won't run because the, the, I'm sorry, the car won't run mm. because the engine's gone. You kind of get it, right? Yeah. Right. Am I saying it right? Yeah. So, so the recep- so because there's no yeah. receptors, well, the receptors are there, but because there's nothing at the androgen level of the nipple, because the nipple's not even there anymore. It's the, gone. The, the, the engine's gone. It won't. It won't run. And, and that's it. So, 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 in terms of a reoccurrence, um, either naturally or people who are using uh, hormones or medications or whatever it is, is it <clears throat> is it zero or is it very low? Well, it's very low, but you got to do it right. You got to really get everything out. If you look at my videos, uh, you know you can tell the difference between glands, which is this pearly white. Thing it looks like a uh, looks like a like a a, a big uh, oyster or a uh, um, or a scallop, and and fat is yellow, so it's white and yellow. You got to really get that white stuff out. And some guys, I mean, I just got somebody who who came to me from Kuwait City who had it done in Germany, and the German surgeon just didn't get the whole thing out, and it grew back and it oh, grows gosh. back with a, with a vengeance because it's in scar tissue. Found me, uh, flew from Kuwait City to me, and I had to chase this thing down into his armpit. It, <laughs> it went that far, and uh, I got the whole thing out. Had to put it in a drain because the the big space is going to want to fill up with fluid. So and you did all that under local. All under local. Damn. I mean, it's great. It's 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 actually uh, you know tumescent fluid is just amazing. I put epinephrine in there. But lidocaine, a little bar, bicarb to change the pH, nobody feels a, a, a thing. Why does why do most – not most, but why, why do surgeons do decide not to do local and they want you to go through an anesthesiologist? Is it because they don't want the patient to see what's going on? No. Or? Yes. No. No. Yes. You know, uh-huh. it, it, mainly it, surgeons are sticking the muds. They're like, you know, <laughs> you know I'm, I'm, I'm a doctor. I, you know, no, we've my, talked about this. <laughs> my shit don't stink and, <laughs> yeah. you know, and stuff of that. Uh, uh, you, you know, they, want, they want someone else to blame when it, things are Right, over. right, right. <laughs> and they're kind of lazy and they just want to, you know, put the people to sleep so they don't have to bother with them. You don't have to talk to them. You know, <laughs> That's they hilarious. To, they don't want to freaking talk to the patient. Here, uh, when somebody's awake, I got to, like, talk. I got to go through every little step, every little thing. Uh, how's your mom? How's your right, dad? Right. How's your dog? It's like I'm doing therapy and, and um, surgery. Right, 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 <laughs> right. When you're asleep, like, you know, you, you, you can talk, you know, to your nurse, oh, who did you bang last night? <laughs> right, right, right. You know. That's, that's, you know the, I, I, honestly, I wish, I'm a, I'm a personal trainer, I wish I could just put my clients under and just, you know, train them and then, right. you know, that's it. I got to say, that there is some positives to it, depending <laughs> on the person. So. Right, right. Oh, there is, right. Just, halfway through a surgery, do you ever tell a guy, like, listen, shut the fuck up or I'm going to put you under. <laughs> no, no. Actually, sometimes I got to tell my nurses to shut up. <laughs> right, right. Because they're, they're talking about... Uh about their lives and stuff. Well, listen, the reason you're here is because you like to talk. So my, I like my, to talk. My, yeah, my, so my, my assumption is that it's never a problem if they're, if they're it, a little... It's never. I do what... They're a little chatty. You know, talk anesthesia. <laughs> yeah, I was going to actually transition that into a uh, discussion of like how you're... Because uh, you're one of the few doctors I know that actually embraces social media yeah. and, and okay. all that kind of stuff. So what's been your experience with that? Because I see, obviously, you, you post your procedures on there. I've been wondering if, if I could get away with doing that with my procedures, but I don't know what kind of loopholes you've gone through or see feedback. I would see, you know, a nice... Close Close up of an asshole with, with, with a You're tube. looking at one. <laughs> you know. Yeah. No, no. I mean, I, I've got a social media guy. I, I've got, I've got Darren here, who's, who's filming this and taking pictures. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going uh, in a couple of months to Colombia to uh, Bogota, Colombia to, to train again with my, with one of my amazing mentors, Alfredo Hoyas, who's, who's the father of high definition lipo. Oh, and by the way, I, I, I do high definition uh, liposuction where, where on, on guys, not on girls, because I kind of want to specialize. You want to do the best at one thing and mm-hmm. only do one thing. You know what? If you do 10 things, 20 things, you, you're good at everything. You're right. master at nothing. So, um, I mean, I can etch a six pack. You want a six pack? You know, <laughs> you know, uh, what do you have? A two pack, four pack, or eight? But you pack? know what it is? It's, it's it was a, it was a six, and then you know in the winter when I was bulking, it kind of fades into a two. Do you but, dirt, dirty bulk or clean bulk? So I used to. Uh, I'm 33 now. When I was in my 20s, I would dirty bulk, and yeah. then you, you never make the mistake again because you're like, all right, I gained three pounds of muscle, 20 pounds of fat. You're like, that was not worth it. So now what I do is I'll just eat more healthy food, and right. and but I'll, I'll add more brown rice in, right. and more sweet potato, maybe a pizza here, here and there because you're, you're looking for the energy to be able to lift heavier weights. Right. But you don't want to get to a point where you're gonna have to lose. Seven pounds of fat or ten right. pounds of fat, because what's the point of that? What do you right. really gain at the end of the day? I, I mean, really, right? I mean, and, and and really, it's 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 the aesthetics. I mean, it, I kind of like that word aesthetic, right? You know, well, that's the thing. When, when you look leaner, kind of you know, when I get smaller, because I'm right. I'm now transitioning. I started later this year, but I'm transitioning into a cutting phase. 
when people see me in person, like, ooh, you okay? Like, you're looking a little leaner and, like, right. your face is looking there. But in photos, people are like, you're looking jacked now. Right. It's that perception. Because bodybuilding, as you know, is it's all smoke and mirrors. It's, right. It's, you know, that's why we have posing. We, we, if, it was, if, if there wasn't a smoke and mirror kind of thing, or if, we wouldn't be able to – excuse me, let me rephrase that. If we weren't um, – if it wasn't about uh, the perception of how you right. look rather than how you look, we wouldn't have to pose because right. – it's it's you know the the idea of we no the posing is, is is all I mean you got they twist they turn they pull down their pants you can the shaft, yeah so the shaft, shaft of their dick is almost showing I would win every competition know. if I did that right but, but here's the thing I've I've, hang, I've hung out with bodybuilders and you would be shocked how they look maybe even a week after the competition right just chilling like this right and how they look on stage within a week because right. diuretics right the water's excreted right so 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 they're dieting down they're 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 pumped up um just just even a pump you know when I train in the gym and I take a photo people are like. You looked wow. a lot different an hour ago, right. but of course I did. Yeah. The, the, the blood is running through, you know, so it is, it is kind of smoke and mirrors kind of thing. And I think that anyone who says, and that's why, why I, there's multiple reasons why we have you on, but but when people say, oh, you know, plastic surgery is cheating, I'm like, in what? It's not. <laughs> First of all, when people say it's cheating, especially when you're coming from a bodybuilding background, it's like, so the steroids aren't cheating. <laughs> so you're telling me that, that the, 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 the fat burners aren't cheating. You know, at what point, like, what are you cheating at, really? Like, what's where's the cheat? You know, and and especially in a sport where there's no real rules when it comes to that, it's just look your well, best. Even if it was cheating, you think he's going to admit to that? <laughs> no, no. I mean, you know, people. Well, I'm not should... even. Oh, I think I'm kissing ass. I'm not kissing ass. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm I mean, just... I mean, listen. People should should be happy. They 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 should. I mean, you, you can you can etch uh, biceps. You can right. etch triceps. You can etch deltoids. You can etch you know that nice midline uh, hollow right. of of your belly. So so I'll ask a question that's not ass kissy. I'll, I'll ask an opposite question so 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 do you ever do you ever take on cases or have uh, people that come to you where you're like you know what this is just too much or like what like there's a person who seems mentally not right up no, here right do you ever say like i'm not going to do this because this is going to be a problem exactly so, no no so you've had cases like that. i every day i have okay. somebody that i say i won't be manipulated into doing a surgery or or, or let's say they're 280 pounds oh no but i want my glands only i, I i'll work on the fat i'll work on the fat you know that's but Bullshit. You know, work on the fat first, get from 250 right. down to 180, and then maybe we'll do the gland only. But that's not going to happen because chest fat is kind of like brown fat. It's like a different type of fat. Once you have it in your chest, it ain't going nowhere. It's, it's, it's there to stay. Right. Um, it's just a different type of fat. It's just uh, once you get it, it's not going to go away. Right. And are all your patients now exclusively men? Or Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, every once in a while I'll do now, you know, Botox women and fillers uh, for their cheeks and faces and stuff and that. But I'm really getting away from that. I, I This is, you know, uh, also fillers and stuff and that not to, you know, is, is you know, it, it, there's a word that I that, that I like to, to use, um, commoditization. Am I saying it right? I don't want to be a commodity. I don't mm. want to be, I want to be what I am, the best at what I am. Mm. You know, sure, you, you can get your gyno done by a gen, general surgeon. Are they going to make you, you know, are they going to flatten you out? Sure, they'll get rid of the gyno. Will it be, you know, artistically done? Will it be there, for, you know, will it grow back? Uh, but I don't want to make you flat. I want to make you athletic and, and lifted and, uh, you know, and, and muscles right, right. Uh, rather than just flatten you out like you were 10 years old. Yeah, it's funny you brought that up. I was curious about this because I would only hear rumors about this in medical school. But um, do you know anything about these, from what I hear, like cardiac surgeons and who knows what other non-related specialties yeah. just offering plastic surgery. Oh, yeah, no, non, non-core. Really? This happens? Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, non-core individuals. Some of the most famous uh, doctors are non-core doctors. They're ER doctors or they're OBGYNs who says, you know something, I don't want to pull out babies anymore. Let me <sighs> let me do some liposuction. Uh, and it, how is that regarded in your community no. or you personally or, or you know just in general? What kind of vibe do you If you're good at it, God bless you. If you're good at it and you got a track record and you don't fuck people up, then... then it's then, a big if. I don't know. Then, like, I, somebody goes from it. pulling out babies... To like liposuction, I don't know. That, that's like, I mean, I could make an argument for it because if you think about it, in medical training, it's just repetition. It's right? just repetition. So if you were to, Sounds if you're a good maybe. repeater, then just start repeating something new. And, and you know. listen, I do not 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 to plug myself, but I do I do literally two to three a day. Plug away, um, man. That's what you're here. I'm serious. No, plug no, away. two or three a day. You know, whenever I want to. Uh, last yeah. week I worked Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Today I'm off because. Uh, Jordan, you called me. I called you, man. You know, and I said, Jordan, you call me. I'll, I'll come. Yeah, yeah. That's you know? it. You're like, listen, I'm not making money today, but 
you know. And, yeah. and, but here's the thing: like when when you tell a Jew that he can't make money, it better be by another Jew. <laughs> like that's, right. that's it. So so it worked out. It was it was all, it was all good. Well, the video will generate you some money. But that's but, it, yeah. but uh, you know it, it's uh, we're, we're but but no non core doctors and and that goes back to the fillers that I don't want to do it. You can, dentist does Botox and fillers now. You know something so funny. Once commoditization <laughs> comes, uh, you know. I give me the next boat out of here. Right. Well, I'm saying, do you, do you see a future? Not now, but maybe 20 years from now, where there's like an at-home gyno removal kit. No. You know. No. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, but I mean, I mean, that's you know, it, it's interesting. I get people from around the world, and sure enough, some people post-op will get scar tissue, and we got to use steroids like Kenalog 10 to break up the scar tissue, or we have to do a seroma. They have a little seroma. They fly back from uh, from New York to L.A. You know, two days later, and they Doc, I got a little fluid under my nipple. Guess what? I send them a yeah. uh, a syringe with, with a needle, or if they need steroids, I'll give them a little insulin needle, and, and I'll send them the, the catalog, and I'll FaceTime with them. Okay, stick the needle right here, yeah. put it in an eighth of an inch, you know, draw Jesus back. Christ. Oh, <laughs> we we did it, you know? Oh, you man. know, you're not going to stay up long, I promise you. It's not, the needle's not that long. Oh my God. And is your yeah, practice sorry. all um, your own building, your own practice? Yeah. Is that how yeah. you're set up? Yeah. So, I mean, getting back to, to social media. Dr. Yeah, I was going to link it back yeah. to that because do you yeah. feel like that plays a role with getting waivers and well, liability I mean, and all that stuff? Waivers, we, we have a waiver that, that, that they can we can be videoed. If somebody, and I got some people who say, oh, I don't want to be video, or I got this, you know, tattoo on my, um, on, you know, middle of my chest and everybody knows my tattoo. I can't have a video. I, we won't do it. Or I'll put a, I'll, I'll put a tape on it, uh, you know, if they have a sleeve. Um, but um, most people, I would say 98% of my patients want to share their experience and, right. and it's different in his field. In the gyno world, this, you know? right? Well, I think it's also different because in I the gyno work world, out of people hospital, so. want want right. to you know want to get the word out. It's not it's not like a hidden secret anymore. Right. Yeah, but uh, I, I'm just curious if do you feel like I would because I, I have my own social media. I do YouTube. But, yeah. Uh, but I while I do some hospital vlogs, I tend to shy away from it because I don't know the liability issues with being. Uh, I'm technically not a hospital employee. I'm, right. I'm a locum tenens doc. So, right. but. Technically, they are my employer. Isn't there a doctor, a YouTube guy, Doctor J, who uh, does a little, you know, a lot of YouTube? There's videos. a bunch of them. There's a bunch. You know, of them and, and, and some of them aren't even doctors. You got to even look at that. <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, uh, magicians. Uh, um, doctor Phil, do, Doctor, what's his name on on on, on doctor, movie? Doctor Oz. Do, no, he's a he's an actual doctor. Is he's, he's, oh yeah, he's, he's a, a no. He's a surgeon. He's actual. He was in um, uh, Columbia, uh, open heart. No, this doctor. I, I may be wrong. I don't want to get myself okay. jeopardized That's here. Right. No, but do, do, Dr. Phil, I don't even know if, you know, the psychotherapy guy. Well, he's yeah. the guy, the talk show, right? The Dr. talk show yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah not, he's definitely not a medical trained doctor. He's not he's a medical, a, that's what I'm saying. he's a psychologist, but exactly. he, he got the branding. So. Yeah, he's well, got the branding. That's the thing. Yeah. You either have to get in, in, endorsed by Oprah or right. you have to look really hot and then right. you get to be on television and you can say right. you're a specialist in anything. You can be like, I'm the guy. Or nowadays <laughs> you just create your own path, which obviously you're doing, right, I'm right. starting to do. So so, so getting on to, on, on to that, when I first started you know, doing it, you know, I got my phone, I did a little Instagram or I did this. Then I, 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 I went into wearing a GoPro on, on my head. That's awesome. You know, so I, I, I got the regular Hero 6 or whatever it's called, and I got the little Sessions 1, and then I um, operated on a kid um, uh, from South Jersey, uh, you know, nice kid who, uh, I, I did gyno, and then he, he says, oh, I'm leaving Jersey, uh, you, you know, dirty Jersey there, and I'm going to, uh, you know, come up to New York. And I says, listen, I need a social media. Yeah. So then I, I got him, and he, he just recently left because he wanted to go, go back in this. And now I got, you know, Darren and Mike, and we can plug Mike's uh, Do it. Mike's thing. What, what is it? Mike, it's... Uh, uh, I think it's underscore Michael Reese. Uh, so, yeah, go in here. Yeah, yeah you, can, you, can, you can use his mic because we can't Here's hear you without mic. the mic. All right, so it's underscore M I. C H A E L R Y S underscore. And he does what? He does my social media. Okay. Nice. So so I mean you know social media is a whole it's it's a whole big thing. I mean uh, where where you have to you have to get out there and 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 I mean I'll get people. Uh, you have videos every day. I see you post stuff. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, I'll get people you. from India, from India calling me, from Mumbai. Oh, sure. I got gyno and this and that. <laughs> I said, well, come, I can't. I'm poor. I'm in India. I can't come right. in. I said, well, you know, uh, you know. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll get it there. I'll get people from around the world, from Africa, from, from, yeah, you know, and then I get from L.A., from Miami, from New York, from uh, a lot from, um, uh, from. Um, 
Canada. Now, I mean, I'm, I'm talking, I'm thinking in my mind, these little things. And certain populations of people are, are, are very sensitive about their, their chests. Mm-hmm. Um, um, for example, Indian population, um, uh, they, males in India, not supposed to have have female like like breasts, and that's what gyno kamastia means. Gyno means breasts, and mastia means mass. So cult- culturally, you're saying for them, it's, it's more even so, so more so than here. It's more of like a, a negative a cultural thing. thing. Yeah, yeah. So you know, if they have it, they feel more ashamed about it. They feel more that they're, they're not a man. Interesting. You know, on right, right, right. On, on this. And um, so is it in that? Is it very in India? Is it very prominent that people get that done? Very prominent wow. in India. Interesting. Very. Um, it's interesting you say that because when I was researching you, the other videos I saw is one other. I don't know if he's a doc. I mean, I guess it's a doctor. He was performing it and it looked like he was from India. From India. Yeah, oh it yeah, must have been. Um, which is very because that was you and there was a few others and then there was somebody from India performing a few surgeries. Um, <clears throat> so it's interesting you say that. Uh, but uh, it's, I was going to ask you: Are there are there certain um, uh, 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 ethnic groups that that are more prominent genetically to get to get this than others, or is it very is dispersed, kind of all around? It's kind of dispersed. Okay. Um, you know, again, we we can talk about genetics. Right. What you know, what causes? If, if listen, if your dad's got gyno, you're gonna get gyno. If your uncle has gyno, you're gonna get gyno. Right, right. If your mom, no, no, <laughs> you know, it, it doesn't. If your mom's uh, got tits. You're gonna yeah, get, you're yeah. gonna get tits. No, it's it, it, it's it, it's not that. Right. Um, and and I got guys who say, listen, I got two brothers, they got nothing, and I got these big tits. Right. Um, well, sometimes it's because, like, like you said, it could be maybe they were overweight at a time, or they're taking hormones, or things like that. Um, I want to show you so. You must have names at this point for like different versions. Like, like, yeah, you know how like Trump has like names for all the people that he dislikes and like he thinks he's hilarious. Like, you must right. have like these like like quirky names for like different forms of gyno. So I'm gonna show you. So we have over here uh, David Hasselhoff. So this is Dave. So what would you call his kind of gyno? Pseudo gyno. That's pseudo gyno. Okay, pseudo gyno. But I don't know what Dave Tay. He's. But you don't know. I mean, these look pretty like, giant, doc. I don't know. But you think you think this is just saggy because he's older. Saggy. It's skin. It's right. fat, and his glands in there. This, this but be I mean, but Davidson. You know, I mean, in, in his in his Baywatch yeah. days, he was he was pretty fit there. <laughs> Now, yeah, he now used have, he, used have, he was a good body. I mean, he had a good body. Now, did he day. take stuff? Did he? <laughs> did he? You know. Did he take stuff? Who knows? You know, right? who knows? You know what's funny? And you say like he wasn't such a big guy back then. He was just very cut. But you don't know how people are taking these days. Like, you... um, what, what's his name? What, what, what's that bodybuilder guy? Uh, Skywalker. Which which one? Um, Skywalker is guy no, that's, that's Schwarzenegger. The Schwarzenegger. <laughs> but Skywalker is Star Wars. No, there, there, there's a bodybuilder. Oh really? Sky... I don't know. Then Sky... I, 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 I would know this. I don't know. Um, okay, but but so, so what about him? Well, well, Schwarzenegger took it, but it was different back then. But then again, he had open heart surgery because well, he well, messed you know up his valve. So someone told me. So, so I'm, I'm being in the bodybuilding world, and they said that back then, and I, I believe it to be true, they didn't take as much stuff as people think they did, and now they didn't, right? And but here's the reason why: is because everything was pharmaceutical back then, right? And they, it was legal, so you can go to your doctor and say, "Doc, hint, hint, I want this for this," and they just write prescriptions. Nowadays, it's all underground labs, so we're right. kind of like. It's not maybe not as powerful. So people think like if I took five thousand milligrams of something, I got to take two grams of it now. But so, well, you know what they what what trend was originally for? So so trembolone, just so everyone doesn't know, trembolone acetate is a form of anabolic steroids that was actually what was it used for for for, for animals, for cattle, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's to put it was put muscle on livestock, yeah. And then it was actually made. It was a pellet you'd put in a, in a in a in a in a um in a cow, I think, right. And then they found a way to like melt the pellet down, suspend it in oil, and they just started injecting it to people. By the way, I say they, I mean like bodybuilders, not doctors. Right. And they're like, okay, I guess no one died yet. So, and and, and the thing about Trenbolone, why it became so popular in the bodybuilding community is because it makes you very big, yeah. but it also makes you very defined yep. at the same time. And the, they get this trend sweats, I think. The when... problem is it's the, one of the most powerful steroids out there, and the problem with it is that is a, every negative mental side effect you get from steroids is probably from this drug. Yeah. Aggression, mood swings... Anger, like, um, and you also get gyno. You get you get the type that, um, Doc. Do you know the difference between a progesterone gyno, like the, the, the gyno that um, has like the, the like where you lactate and stuff? Yeah. So so a lot of that I feel like comes from that because like pe- people <coughs> people who are on it like start lactating yeah. and and why does that happen by the way? Because by the way, I, I'll tell you a personal story in a second. But I actually I lactate out of my nipples, um, not a lot, but like if I squeeze it very hard, a drop comes out and it's white or sometimes it's brown. Can you be milked? 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. By the way, Greg, uh, the Greg, co- the co- Greg, can, can you milk me? Yeah. Well, the coffee that you just had, uh, I hate to tell you, but <laughs> that is uh, that's homebrew. Uh, but yeah, no. So so uh, what, what? Like just for people who don't know, do you know what that is? Like, what's the deal with um, why do people? Some people lactate, and some people don't. And well, their prolactin level might be high and screwed up and stuff. And that you know, number one, if you have that, maybe you should get an MR of your brain. Make sure you don't have a you know a, a pituitary. If tumor. you're not taking steroids, right? right. But 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 it, it just it just it enlarges everything, so you get the milk ducts that are that are start to function all right well now on to the next one we have here um jack nicholson uh, jack what would you call this jack um it's same thing uh, old man boobs this is old man boobs so, so you would say it'd be more <laughs> saggy it's yeah less but, but the most important thing is look, look at the chick that he's with so <laughs> right so so, so her, her gyno is pretty bad you're saying right no <laughs> <laughs> you know, right? He's, you know, he, Jack is, is, um, you know, again, he's, uh, mm. he's, what is he, seventies uh-huh. at least? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's up there, right? I mean, right. and again, another guy who was very skinny and he's very fit back in his day. I mean, Jack, uh, Jack was, um, I mean, he was like, he was like a ladies' man. But, but the, when I look at this, I'm like, this looks like a pair of tits on him. I mean, yeah, but you, you know, something if you're if if you're in a freaking yacht in right, uh, right. in Monte like Carlo, you said earlier, who the fuck who right. the fuck gotta own it, have confidence. He's with a girl right. that's old enough to be his granddaughter. I exactly. think he's good. He's on some kind <laughs> right. of yacht in Monte Carlo, and, and I guarantee it's not his granddaughter. Right. And, and, and the thing about it is that is the face you make when you don't give a fuck that this is what's going on down here. You don't. <laughs> yeah, I would do the same. Yeah. Like, well, look, you're looking at the cameraman saying, you know, leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> you're just like, whatever. <laughs> this is not actually so bad. This is uh, Simon Cowell. Yep. What would you call this? Well, I mean, again, he, his his posture is bad. Okay. He's just, uh, he's, boy, he's got little shit dogs. But um, <laughs> he's, you know, his posture is bad. Yeah. I mean, this is this is probably, he's got gyno in there. Right. And at that age, you need to tighten up the skin, heat up the skin. Um, but he's not that bad for, right. for, for a guy that's... Uh, that his age and uh, he looks like he's in overall good shape, but you he's can in overall good. But shape. if you look at, but if you really examine the, the chest area, and again, you're someone who's very tuned into it because you do this for a living. Th- there's definitely maybe something in there, or maybe some some tightness that could be done. You're saying uh, uh, amazing, yeah. No, yeah. he he needs, but but he just can't have gland. You know, he he's the type of person who says, "Oh, can you just remove the gland?" No, you need to define the edges of the muscle. Again, it's all smoke and mirrors. Right, right, it's all right. shadows. You know, positive spaces and negative spaces. That's why you want to do what is it? Decline bench presses or incline? So. To, so, to do, so if you want to do what? So if you want upper, to, upper, yeah, upper, upper, you want to go incline, and incline. you want to you squeeze on the incline. That's why, again, when, when I work out with my clients who do have gyno, they usually feel really good at least within a few months when they start developing the upper because when the they upper. have a t-shirt on, even if there's a little saggy in the, um, exactly. the t-shirt, you see this kind of definition. Right. Um, and even by the way, even if it comes out like that's you know, I'm sure you, you know there's people when you've taken glands out and they're like, well now I kind of feel like concave a little. To explain to them like, no, well, now you have to work out. You have <laughs> you, to work out. Right, you have to actually build muscle. He's like I, I did some of the work, but you got to do <laughs> right. It's you know? like almost like like if you you know uh, like a rock in, in soil. You you take off the rock, you get that big indentation. Right. But now people are actually putting fat. You know, like like Brazilian butt lifts, they they slipo and put you know put fat in the ass. Now they're putting fat in the pecs. In the pecs, you can put fat in the delts. You can put fat in the biceps. Oh, you man. can you can you can do you can etch your belly and do do fat in the in the in the in the six pack. I'm very good at putting fat in my stomach. No. I, I, I do that very well. So so here we have um, this. You know him is Ice T, and we have Ice T. What would you call these tits? Uh, Sweet iced tea. <laughs> <laughs> call them sweet. <laughs> sweet tea. <laughs> so call them iced teas. <laughs> <laughs> sweet. Now, sweet. I mean, these look like gyno. This looks like. This looks like. I mean, he's obviously a little heavier than he used to be. Um, you know, because you know, I don't know if he was ever skinny, but but he looks to be a little heavy on the heavy side. So maybe he needs to Again, lose weight. He's, he's bending yep. over a little bit. Right. So you're saying some of this is postural. You know. so, so do you think sometimes when people stand up, I mean, the, these are like little puff titties. Right. You know? well, when you examine someone, do you examine them sitting down and standing up, or, or just one or the other? No, I, I I have them, you know, hunch over because they'll 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 frequently hunch over and take their t- take their fingers <laughs> and kind of and kind of flip their flip their nips there. They're, they're probably say, so used to doing it themselves. Ex- that, a, right. I right. Gotcha. This is a really bad one. Um, and again, it's always these people that were, were such sex symbols because they probably give a shit the least about this stuff. Um, this is, uh, uh, what's his name? St- Steven Tyler. You know, and, and he looks like, if I saw that on a woman, 
I mean, this is this. These are tits. I mean, these are actual. These are boobs. And, yeah. And and again, he's a skinny guy. I mean, again, he's pretty fit. I, I can almost see his six pack. I could see the definition of his arms. Yeah, um, his arms are pretty skinny, but I mean, that, he, he's not a he's not a a, a, a bodybuilding guy. Yeah, I was gonna say. So is that also pseudo? Or? Yeah, this is pseudo. Okay. This is pseudo. I mean, everybody's got gland, but you know, when you get older, Tyler's what? He's he's he, again in the sixties. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, your your testosterone level drops, and you don't have that bombardment. Of, of testosterone in your system, so the glands are are, are, are going to be more fatty than 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 true hard. Th- you so know. that's that's what makes it pseudo is when it's not really about glands. Pseudo means tissue. false, right? So, so it's more so just the skin and it's, it's the, skin right, right. and fat. There's some gland in here. You also have to, have to explore the the gland. But but you're showing me older, you know, older right, right. guys. Well, we got we got someone. Yeah, what? show me show me the. So he's not that old. I mean, maybe he is. He just looks really young. But Denzel, we have here, and again, he's not so bad. But you can see through the that T-shirt. Bad. What would you call that? I mean, this looks like maybe something a case that you probably see very commonly. No, I mean, th- this is something that I got, and and, right, and I right. want to get it done. Yeah, I was gonna probably. Say. So, so I actually, if you, yeah. if you didn't yeah. mention whatever topic we were talking, I got kind of. I, 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 yeah, I would like it. That be like listen, that looks normal to me. On my yeah. YouTube channels, they you know docs. Uh, I mean, patients of mine comment. You know, doctor. You know. One minute, ten seconds. You got gyno. When are you gonna do it? You know, with a big smile face, and I says, "I know, and I'm gonna have it done." Right. I, well, 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 I mean, I wake up yeah. every morning, and I'm trying to make these people great. And listen, I I'm 63, and I got gyno. And you know something? Damn it, it, it bothers me every fucking day, and I'm gonna have it done. Well, well, I know someone really good. Is uh... <laughs> no, I know two, two. There would be two people that I would go to. So, so it's interesting, and I didn't know if you want to talk about, it, but we we had spoken about this where where. Interestingly enough, I know a lot of uh, surgeons, plastic surgeons, you go to their office and it's like, wait a minute, like you're telling me that I got to get this fixed over here and you look like, <laughs> right? it's like, what's going on? But but you actually, you know, you're someone that you practice what you preach. You also feel like you, it, 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 you as you've gotten older, you, you wanted to do something. Right. And, I mean, I try and, to eat right. Yeah. I exercise. If you go on my Instagram, I do, uh, you know, uh, hot hot yoga all the yeah. time. I mean, damn, I just had a hamburger next door, which is <laughs> probably the first hamburger I had in uh, in six months. But, but look, you're, 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 you're probably in great shape for your age, but you're not 20. And, and, I'm not 20. And when you were 20, you probably didn't have a, a, an issue at all. I didn't have an issue or it didn't bother me back, right, right. back, back in the, you know, in the seventies. Do you feel just, like, do you feel like seeing all the cases that you've seen, has that made you think about it more than? Oh know? yeah. No, oh, really? I want to okay. definitely have it done. Right. I, I, Cause I'd imagine just doing it to so many people through like day in and day out. You're probably like, like you maybe think that even if I, even if you had like a 1% uh, issue <clears throat> that it's something where you want to just get it done. It's like you know, almost like giving someone like people the sickest haircut every day, but your hair right. is just growing out. I mean, I mean, listen, the bottom line is you want to look good. You want to feel right. good. You want to look good. Now, some people don't, some people, you know, some oh, just don't care. Yeah. You know, they, they don't care and they're happy internal, you know, and, 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 and it's great if they right. really don't care. Right. There um, um, and it doesn't bother them. Well, well, God bless them. You know, right, it's right. great. But then there's guys. I'm included. One of them. You know, I, I'm brushing my teeth. I look in the mirror and I go, Oh, crumb. I got these nipples that are down by my belly button. It's like, you know, it's like, it, and and if it bothers you enough, and it's tormented enough, and you got to, you know, you got to, you got to pick out your t-shirts. You got to pick out right, right, right. your clothes. To I mean, uh, you know, uh, I've, I've got a son who 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 went to you know, University of Miami, and you know, you know, it's it's the U, you know. So they get big, big, big ass T-shirt with the tip of the U is at at both of my nipples. And I go, oh, oh man, <laughs> you know, it's just things like that that you don't consider until you don't consider right. until I was at the bookstore at the University of Miami, put on a University of Miami T-shirt with the U on it, and I says, I ain't buying this. Well, it's how about a bra? Would that a bro? Yeah, a bro, <laughs> a man's ear. <laughs> yeah, with that. A Seinfeld. Uh, <laughs> well, you put you put people into that after surgery, right? Yeah, the, the, the yeah. Compr- but don't they sell those things for like people to? Yeah. Like, oh yeah. They no, listen. So I got guys <laughs> who tape duct tape. I've got kids who duct tape their nipples. They they you know uh, and 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 they tear off this the the duct tape and they get ulcers oh, and God. they get skin or they wear you know a hoodie sweatshirt in in freaking. Miami, right. uh, 100 degrees, and they're wearing a hoodie. Um, yeah, I, I mean, imagine for like kids, and, and it, what percentage of, of um, patients are, 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 are adolescents that you, that you see? Well, I mean, with adolescents, you got to get over the parents. You know, the parents right. need to say, "Yeah, I understand. Yeah, your 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 self esteem and this and that right. is 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 bad." Um, uh, you know, do something about it. But m- most of the parents, and really, I blame it on the pediatricians who say, "Oh." 
wait until you're 16, it'll go away. Right. You know something? It doesn't. And I know it doesn't yeah, anymore. And, and, and you know, I have it. I have it. You know, small. But but when you're a heavy set kid and it's small, you have fat plus you have the. Yeah. Gyno. I remember when I was a kid, I was in sleepaway camp. Kids are not nice. Which camp? Which camp did you go to? <laughs> it was a it was a Jewish camp. It was called uh, Raleigh. Raleigh, yeah. yeah. So it closed down. It doesn't exist anymore. But but yeah. I remember so I took my shirt off and you know like adults know to not say where, things they're not supposed to. Where's Camp Raleigh? It's uh it's upstate somewhere. I, I forget. In New this York, point. Or yeah, Pennsylvania. No, it's, it's actually New York. It was yeah. yeah. So 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 you you go to camp and you're taking your shirt off to go to the swimming pool and the kid goes up to me and goes. Hey, look at Jordan's tits. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> and, and, and you know, and I'm looking down, I'm like, I have tits. And then and then yeah. all you can think about is that. So that when, you know, I actually lose weight and get into shape, all I'm thinking about is like, oh, shit. Like, you, you, you don't lose that. So because it's such a transformative time in your life, I yeah. imagine that, you know, the worst thing for parents is to see oh, their kid go through something like that. You know like something? That. Kids could you know, be mean. Kids terrible. could be mean. Yeah, yeah, I mean, kids I mean, don't have perspective. If, I mean, no I mean right. if you're naming your kid now, like, Jordan, what, what did they call you when, when you were younger? When I was younger? They what didn't, did they call you? Jo- they didn't even know I existed. I, I was, I was yeah, such a quiet kid, believe it or not. You know, what what they call you when you were Did they have a... Uh, like I got a, a million nicknames. <laughs> uh, go Sadra, Sidra, Sadar, right. Sadr, Saj, Saji... <laughs> Right, right. See, so you had an ethnic Sandra. name, so it kind of made it easier for you to make fun of. Like with me, I just yeah, looked, I just looked fat, so it was more of a visual thing, you know. Yeah, but that's the thing. Kids don't know anything, and they then visual is in their face. So of course, they're going to pick on the visual, the clothes, the shoes. I was right. called fat ass. I was called. I was called fat fuck. I was called. Yeah. I, mean, I mean everything. I mean every. I wish mean, it wasn't even that clever. They're bad comedians because they oh, just they're bad. In, right because they come and use the word fat. I mean, like I could do that, you know. For very, they're very hacking their insults. I mean, but getting into social media now again. I mean, yeah. we we always get back to social media. Yeah. I mean, everything is is is, uh, you know, kids with selfies and sticks right. and 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 Instagram. I mean, you know, I'm you know, even dogs have Instagram pages <laughs> now. Airbrushing. You know? you know, a lot of people don't realize, but uh, funny, a friend of mine today, she sent me. She picture, like, which one should I, should I put on uh, Instagram? I said, I said, so and so. I said, your, your photos. <laughs> You airbrushed them out. Like, I'm like, I don't want to embarrass you, but they look very airbrushed. <laughs> you know, and, and and that's what people have to realize. Like a lot of these photos that you're seeing of people are altered. And, yeah. And we're now looking to that. Like this is the this is beauty. And like, and again, right or wrong, it's, that's all perspective. Oh, yeah. But but but, but so so it's around I mean, get, us all the time. Even even the 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 stardom you know, you look at TMZ and yeah. you know oh what's his name coming out of the nail salon and, and and they look like shit right right you know right right well look at these actors I just showed you exactly when you, when you think of these celebrities you don't think what I just showed you yeah that's why I'm so happy no offense <laughs> but even if I get it I'm not gonna come get it done because I'm just happy that you're I, happy with yourself I'm not thinking about it right like, right it's right. not even on your it's not on your radar yeah and if right. someone takes a paparazzi picture of me which won't be for a while but right. if it were to ever happen like I'll be like all right yeah I'm in well, Flip I flops mean, and shorts. Right. I mean, do? that's yeah. that's really. I mean, exactly. I mean, that's that. I mean, that's that's a blessing that that, oh, yeah, that you can go sure. in. But people are not that yeah, way. Unfortunately, I don't know. I mean, your parents, you know, raised you right and gave you self esteem, and you yeah, know, I think it's just my messed up brain. Yeah, you know, me- me- <laughs> me- <laughs> my parents did not give me any self esteem. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, you know, you know, you know. No, my parents are great. But it, no, yeah, no, no, it's, no, it's amazing. <laughs> but but kids, external cues. It's yeah. And and this world is is. Is, is tough. But that's what I was going to ask you about about how many, um, uh, not even adolescents, but people who are uh, either a post, I guess you call post pubescent, like right after they reach puberty and they develop the guy and he'll come to you because that is a, that's more around the time that, you know, I would feel mentally like I would need to get it done because when you're an adult, like we we're saying, it's more about you. Most right. most people who have, you know, or socially, you know, normal aren't going to go to you and be like, hey, what's wrong with your face? Or people don't talk no. that way. And if they do, they're borderline on the spectrum, you know? I, I think it's not the, the people don't talk to you about if your nose has a hump on it or right. your ears are sticking out. Right. Uh, or, or, or you got. Right, Doc, I know. <laughs> or you got, you know, or you, or, or you got hair that's not up to there, you know, but it, I yeah. think it's more body yeah, yeah. if you're fat if you're short if you're skinny if you're this or that they'll they, they it's a whole package where they they kind of focus on right you know uh not that you have a, a big nose or 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 stuff of that it, it's 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 it, that it's such a it, confusing thing because on one hand like you know taking your taking your not even position but the way you feel about it which is like i don't give a shit like right. what's on my radar kind of thing but then when I, you know, sometimes I will see somebody who I'm like, oh, you don't need surgery, you don't need surgery, and they get something done. I'm like, in my brain, I'm like, they kind of look better, you yeah. know. So, so, and and it's conflicting because I have these two conflicting thoughts where you're fine the way you are, right? But then they get it done and I'm like, oh, wow, you look pretty good. So, and in those two things, it's so hard to kind of like, 
you know, in my brain, you know, work that out, where, which is like, you are fine the way you are and you're good and you, why do anything, right? But then once you get it done where I'm like, oh, but like symmetrically, you kind of look, because I come from a bodybuilding world and I'm not going to lie. When someone comes to me, they're like, do I look better like this or that? I always say, listen, the way you feel, like if you feel right. better being, but if they say, does this look better to you? I'm going to answer the question. What I think should matter, but if they're asking what I feel about it, yeah, I think if you had more definition here and you're bigger there, it's confusing because it shouldn't be that way. It shouldn't be that way. But we are visual creatures. Like we are we, visual creatures. Yeah, you can't it, it's, it. it's the same way you say, like, you know, I wish I can just talk to a girl who, who, who I wasn't very physically attracted to because she's an interesting person and still get some something out of it. And, and I really wish that. Like, we'll, let's say we all had the shallow house syndrome, right? Like, we kind of wish we had that. But the reality is, the first thing we notice about a person is is visual. We, we we're, that's how it's how we are. We we say they're attractive. Let me see if there's anything going on in their brain. You know, right? <laughs> we don't start I, with the brain. I mean, I mean, look I at the know. presidential, you know, uh, elections and stuff. You're going to have a guy that's, it's, you know, a, 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 you know, a Bernie Sanders. I mean, not saying anything about Bernie. <laughs> it's just not going to make it. He will not be president. You don't think so? No, no, I don't think. Did you think so? Uh, I don't think so. I don't yeah, think so. I, I, I don't, it's funny because he's no, tried how many times now? What, what's funny is that so many people were so gung ho about him last time, and now you talk to people like, "Fuck, he's gonna ruin everything." I'm like, "What happened to people?" <laughs> There's bumper stickers. Like people turned on him. People turn on politicians real fast. People turn on anything real fast. Yeah. It's just like, just, what are, what's in right now? Right. It's, like, it's so funny. I I, I I love seeing it too because, and this is why I love not being like a political person, and I just kind of like to sit and watch everything just 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 rip itself apart. Well, politics is just like the end topic right <laughs> I, now. I mean, I mean right. people, you know, yeah, I'm not going to tell you my my political view, but people should tell be us. like should be like <laughs> no, like like Donald Don, Donald Trump say, "Listen, I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm this, I'm right, the bomb." Right, right. You know, something they should start and it, it's true, right? You know. The truth is you almost wish people had that kind of confidence in a way because, you know, this guy walks around he, he probably I, I would like to you says his guy, you know, he's probably got serious guy, you know. He's, he's, probably, right. he's got a bit of a belly, you know. This is not a guy that has really been keeping up. His, I mean, he pounds burgers like nobody's business. But you got to say about this guy, hey, this guy's got a set of fucking balls. Oh, he does. <laughs> kind of... I wonder if he needs Scrotex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it is. It's funny. Like, you wish the advice could be to these other people running. Right. Would be, like, if I can do some sort of consulting work for the DNC, it would be this. It would be like, look at what you're running against. Right, right. <laughs> do, you, do you know? Like, this guy doesn't give a shit. Like, he doesn't give a shit. Well, so when, whenever he doesn't like somebody, right. he'll call him, oh, the guy couldn't get laid. You know, right, right. If, you <laughs> know he, he, like, he, like, 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 like people who are running now, they're like apologizing for things they said that weren't even so bad. Right. And I'm like, this, do you know who you're running against? Right. Honestly, I learned a lot from it. And this leads into my next question for you, actually. <laughs> but uh, I learned a lot from this Trump thing. I, I should say one main thing, and that's, if someone comes at you with anything negative or anything, just be like, all right. And then yeah, it right. goes away. Yeah, it's right. like, ooh, People it's like forget. a magic trick. Right? Yeah. Uh, but I, I wanted to segue that into my question for you. Uh, again, back to social media. Do you deal with uh, a lot of negative comments or negative feedback or anything hateful or any, anything? Well, especially because no, no, you're dealing it, in such a physical ex world. Exactly right. I mean, I, I had somebody that I did a YouTube video on, and it was heavy, and somebody did a awful comments like you know and, and you know one thing great about um, um about instagram and 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 youtube is that i can delete <laughs> you know right, right. i can block and delete if somebody's gonna bash me or bash my patient call him a fat fuck you know this <laughs> right, and right. that well you know something fuck you screw you right. i can de delete you um I, I don't have a facetime uh a page because facetime and anybody can fa comment fa facebook, you mean what facebook facebook okay. facebook yep. I don't, I don't have a Facebook because people can comment on, on, on my wall mm. and I can't take it down. Oh, really? No. Oh, I didn't know that. Is that right? I, I can't take If I have a Facebook page. I hope that's not true. I mean, it might, it might, it's been it's so long since I've been on Facebook, to be honest. You can't delete it. Oh, maybe if you have a business page, that's true. That might be true. Maybe it's business page. Maybe. Because they're looking at that as like feedback and review yeah. and, and Yeah, I was like going to say, uh, I have a slightly different take on it because I'll, I'll get not hate comments, but occasionally get these comments where you're like, all right, this guy. So I, I don't so delete, hair. I don't believe in, yeah, right. <laughs> I don't believe in deleting or blocking because I just feel like it empowers that person. So I feel like just leaving it there, like, hey, thanks for the engagement and the view. No, no, so, somebody's going to, going to bash my, and me, I, I can take it, but if somebody's going to bash a patient of mine. Yeah, I guess that's a little. You know, who, who is out there that. and, yeah. and who, who's, who's gracious enough to show right. the, the surgery, you know, something. Uh, say say something good for him right. when he's trying to do something. Right. It's like this guy just got a huge surgery. He got something you know removed from him. And they're like, oh, he doesn't even look like he lifts. It's like, oh, shut the right. fuck up. It's, right. Like, it's like, you know, and, and I think that's another thing that's interesting about what you do specifically because 
a lot of things in the plastic surgery world, you know, when people say, oh, can I get something liposuction? I'm like, well, just lose some body fat yeah. and, and, and go work out. I really feel like that's the way to do it 90% of the time. I, I'm not against plastic surgery, but I think sometimes it's a crutch to actually do work. Right. When it comes to what you do specifically, what you specialize in the gyno, you cannot fucking work that out. No, you can't. Like, I can get someone in really good shape. They can be ripped, but that's still going to be there. Right. So in this case, it's not like they're lazy. Like, it's it's the exact opposite. They may put all the work in. Or maybe they're, they're, they're looking to start that journey, but, like, right. it's just one of those rare things but, where, yeah. you know. But also getting back to those fi- pictures yeah. of Denzel yeah. or or Jack or um, Hustle. Hustle or, or uh, Russell, Russell Crowe or, 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 or Velsa, <laughs> you know, if you tested their testosterone, yeah, yeah, what is it going to be? Probably low, 300 or Bill, Bill Parcell. You see this guy, yeah, I mean, he's got you know, yeah, what's their <laughs> he's just standing what, no, there. No, no, th- 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 there's a good, good point. What's their testosterone level going to be? I mean, how you'd imagine it's dropped. I mean, 300, probably, probably Two, 280. Pro- Probably lower than three for sure. Low, lower than three. Because around four is about baseline. No, actually, normal is like is like two fifty to okay. twelve fifty. Oh, That's okay. a big, you know. Big, but yeah. I bet you give some of those guys a little bit of testosterone, a little bit of growth hormone, right. and they'll change their body. Now, is that right to do? You know, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know right is what's what's right. <laughs> You know, I, I I don't know. Yeah. But but as our testosterone le- levels, you know, change, you know, everybody says, "Oh, I got to take Viagra because I can't get up, you know, I can't get it up and stuff." I mean, some of it is internal. Like, right. sure, it could be physical, it could be mental, um, but 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 also it could be uh, hormonal. Right. Most likely, it's probably hormonal. And and am I against? Te- I I I've, I've been thinking about. You know, getting a little testosterone, you right. know, uh, done it right by an endocrinologist right, right. and getting my levels checked. It, it seems like a lot of people, you know. I've been thinking about it. Haven't done it. Yeah. No, no. But but again, there are, there are endos that will prescribe it for people who are low enough. And, oh, and yeah. Especially when they're, and it's, it's amazing how now, you know, after there's been the ban on testosterone because I think of cheating in sports, you know, where pharmaceutical, <laughs> pharmaceutical industries are once again saying, oh, wait, wait, there might be a function for this. That's more than just, God forbid, if you, you, know, if you have testicular cancer and you need to make testosterone. And it's like, uh, you know, they're like, well, this has a risk to it, so we're going to ban it. It's like, okay, well, what about Adderall? Yeah, everything in medicine has a risk right. and a benefit. It, it, it just seems that it's it's more – when they ban a substance or they ban a medicine, it seems more about other things than it is about that, you know? And always I, is. Right. It Be- always is. Because, and you know – any, you know, listen, first of all, when you get prescribed a, a, a pharmaceutical – when a psychiatrist prescribes a medicine, they don't do blood work on you. They no. don't do blood work. So – that makes no sense. But again, when you do get, if you're going to an endocrinologist, they're going to have to do a shitload of blood work before they give you anything because. Well, to be fair, a lot of psychiatric medications don't really affect blood work. If they did routinely, I'm sure they would. Oh, is that right? Okay. Yeah. So, so you think if you took. But I, I, I mean, some could do like liver and this and that. You yeah, just, of course. But you know, it, you, it doesn't you, happen often enough that right. they decided, okay, right. we need to make this right. a routine to test. So it's not like your red blood cell count's right. going to go yeah. like. I mean, like there's, there's medications this... I prescribe that I don't do any blood work, but then there's others where I'm like, all right, hey, you're going to have to come in every three months to get some blood work right. done. So it right. just depends on the. Just, I mean, there, right. there was a news that I, that I saw this, 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 this you know, um, it, and you go to a doctor's office now, and I, I don't have it in mind, but the, on the signage between your age and your date of birth is, What's your birth gender? Okay. I've seen that. What's your birth gender? That's happening, yeah. Yeah. So there's this girl, I think she's in high school and maybe middle school, and she's gendering, um, he is gendering from female to male. Okay. So he's taking, he, which is right, you have to say he, is taking testosterone. Now he wants to be, which which is, I mean, it's cool. I think it's it's awesome. He wants to be on the boys wrestling team. Okay. Uh, You've seen it, I think. Um, he wants to so be, he's, he and, was he, born... and he's amazing. I mean, he's a, he's a great, and they're saying, well, he's on testosterone. Right, right. And he's beating all these boys. Right, well, he's on testosterone. Well, it's, and it's so he's, interesting. He's, he's transitioning. Right, it's so funny to me, like, the whole thing is like, now, if I, if I were to say, I, I, you know, if I was a woman, I want to transition to, uh, if I was a woman, I want to transition to a man, to get testosterone is very easy. Right. Yeah. But if I'm a bodybuilder who says, yeah, what I want to do is transition to a bodybuilder. Like if I want, I want to look like a freak. They'll be like, no, go fuck yourself. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the optics, right? And, and, and again, it's it's someone can say, well, well, this person was born with a condition where they feel, and I'm, okay, and I'm sympathetic to it. But you know what? I'm also sympathetic to. I I have a. I'm not I'm not saying that they're that it's gender dysphoria or whatever. I'm just saying that what I have might be body dysmorphia. And I said, if I don't feel like I'm 350 pounds jacked, I'm gonna be fucked mentally. Right. So give me that fucking testosterone. No. It's like so. So it's like. 
at what point do you just say with because what's going to end up happening right and what does happen with any other of these prescription drugs or you know even if they make plastic surgery illegal what's people do it anyway and they're right. going to do it without a doctor and when they do it without a doctor it's 10 times more risky and you get these infections and guess where they go when they get sick to a doctor <laughs> guess where they flood hospitals i'm sure a lot of hospitals get people who inject things wrongly and and they take things that were made in a bathtub with infections so it's like now you create a problem people are going to take this shit anyway don't you want them to go at least to a doctor or like, I would love to go to my doctor and say, I could take this, this and that just so you know, and here's the blow work I want you to get done. And he can say, listen, I think you're stupid for taking it. I don't condone that shit, but here you go. Instead of him saying, leave my office. I don't want to deal with a guy like you. It's like, okay, well, well, I rather you take the blood work to say that, to see that I'm at least doing the unhealthy thing in the healthiest way possible, or at least that I'm not dying. It's like, at least do your job. You know, it's like, if I was a smoker, you wouldn't kick me out of the office. You know, I just feel like a lot of times what doctors are doing, they're just being the moral compass for you. And it's like, I don't know. I didn't know that, that you signed up for that. <laughs> well, and you, know, you, you know, also you get into that, you know, doctors are overworked. They're yeah. underpaid. You know, don't, don't, don't think doctors are, it's a whole thing. I mean, I, I'm in a different, different area, right. but, but you go to a regular pediatrician or an internist, they're only going to spend 15 minutes on you. They're going right. to, you know, check your lungs, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, Check, check your heart, yeah. draw blood, do an EKG, you know, stick a finger up your ass and uh, and feel, feel your balls, uh, at least with me. Um, which Give me a scrotex. Yeah, right. Yeah. And, 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 and it's done. It's it's over. You know, the exam is over. Right. And um, um, doctors are, are, are they're, they're overworked. And, right. You don't and, even see a doctor and, half the time. You, right. see, you see, what is it, the physician's assistant or something? You, right? you I mean, see, a, a and nurse? if you have a, a headache, you know, they don't send you to a neurologist, they, which is true. They, they get you a CAT scan of the brain, make sure you don't have a, a brain tumor. Right. You have a stomach ache, uh, make sure they, they do an ultrasound, make sure you don't have gallbladder. Right. Um, uh, well, uh, but, but the physical exam, it's, it's over. It's, right. It really doesn't do anything anymore. Right, right, right. Um, uh, well, I, I want to change gears a little bit. Yeah, because, and there's, one, there's one thing, and, and we can kind of maybe wrap it up after that. Um, I, I want to, because how long have we been at him? About hour 15. God damn. All right. Well, we'll we're go for like fun. A, yeah, we're having fun. We'll go for like another 10 minutes. That's cool. Sure. Yeah. We'll go with that. All right, cool. Um, so what I wanted to ask you is, do you ever consider, you hear about this uh, gene therapy that's becoming big now? Yeah. And, and it's obviously in the next 15, 20 years, they're saying that we can manipulate genes to do this and that. Right. Do you ever, not even worry, but I guess on one hand worry, and the other hand, does it interest you, the things you'd be able to do with um, manipulating the human body f aesthetically, not just, you know, because they're talking about it for health reasons, but there's also going to be uh, aesthetic reasons. You could change eye color or change, uh, you know, the amount of protein synthesis naturally that your body can do because blah, blah, blah. Do you ever think like, oh, because why I'm in cosmetic surgery, if there's not a need to physically get in there, that's going to kind of go away? Uh, or you think it's so far away that doesn't even it's concern you? It's so far away. I mean, there, there, there's things, you know, first of all— Watch it debut tomorrow night. No, no. For, <laughs> for, first of all, stem cells. You know, everything's about stem cells. Right, right. And you can—actually, believe it or not, fat has the best stem cells, stem, uh, stem cells ever. Uh -huh. You can put fat. You can, you can uh, uh, again, you know, uh, spin it down or blood, spin it down, put it in— under your eyelid skin to get rid of dark circles. Mm. You can you can inject it into your scalp to grow hair. Mm. You can um, um, uh, it's it's. But I think to change a genome, go in there and 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 surgically re remove. If you want a blonde-haired, blue-eyed baby, uh, I I don't know if you can actually do that. Uh, you don't think we're gonna get there in like twenty years? I, who who, who knows? the hell knows? Right, knows I think that. once once the fertilized egg is done, I think the genome is there. Can right. you cut it out? Unless you get it at its at its one cell creature type of a thing. But once it you know becomes its uh, blastocyst and zygocyst and right. you know four six eight whatever, it's already it's it's in you. And I, I don't know how you can you can change that. Unless you go in there and get the egg right. and change the egg and get you know and get that one sperm and change the sperm and then put it into a petri dish, um, I I don't know really. I well, my guess is that uh, they're gonna just basically manipulate the machinery. So all the mitochondria, all the the genes that are turned on to produce X, right? Uh, they'll just 
flip the switches of the genes or, or put in, infuse whatever stem cells that have the different genes activated for the different eye color or yeah. whatever. So I could right. see that maybe, but yeah, it's, it's just, it, it seems so far away, but it's, next it's, thing you know, it's going to be here. I don't know. Right. It's like, it's like when I, when I was discussing with you about like machines taking over and doing your job for you, you're like, go fuck yourself. But, 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 yeah. I, but you also didn't think that you was going to be the case. I think before then there's going to be a pill for this, a pill for that, an injection for that, an immunization for that. Right. There's going to be an immunization for fat people. There's going to be, right. you know, I mean, that's politically wrong. You know, <laughs> the kids will for that. There, there, there's going to be more, you know, um, um, therapies by uh, uh, immune immunizations right. to prevent such things. I just, I feel like, but what about like home lipo kits? It just looks, and, and no offense to what you do or what plastic surgery, but we when get you, it. We'll have them send you something. <laughs> else. Right, right. I was gonna say, but like when you guys go in there, oh, we, I it, sell some online. The yeah. the Hoover lipo section oh. at two thousand. <laughs> you can buy it on his website. I'm kidding. Yeah, no, um, you can. Yeah, <laughs> um, but four thousand nine hundred ninety five dollars. You, you make it look so fun though. It's just like it's like I'm like, oh, I could do that. You know, all I got to do is go like that, and it comes you out. You know something? I mean. <laughs> Let's talk about the mental, the, the the mental, the my sickness of being able to to cut somebody open and suck fat and and grab a gland and you know right. I mean well, that well it is well it, it goes back right it goes back uh, and the way you say that by the way I mean that's that's sick it's gonna give me nightmares but 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 but, uh, but no but but it, but it's true though it, it's the idea I mean, that but we <laughs> Darren can you can you take a tube a hollow tube and stick it in someone's chest and suck out fat. It, it may if he said yes, then I, we have to get him like uh, looked at by the FBI or something. I don't know. But here's the thing. But 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 we were talking about that earlier. I mean, though. it takes a little ego, yeah. ego maniac to <laughs> to be able to say, "Oh, I'm gonna fucking suck the fat out of you." Yeah, quit bragging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but do do you feel that way though? Like for you, because we were talking about getting grossed out. You say you're not really grossed out by stuff like that, obviously, because you do it. So, like, doing that, is it, do you look forward to that? You're like, oh, we're I do. Cut somebody, like, I, I wake up in the morning you're saying, like, I'm going to cut somebody open. I'm going to, oh, look at, <laughs> you know, when I, when, when I, I, I may have an orgasm if I get out like four <laughs> liters of somebody rather than, oh, I got four fucking liters of right. fat out of you. Oh, oh, oh it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's stimulating. It's stimulating. It's so I have crazy. the opposite <laughs> approach. Like, I just go to work. I literally just treat it like work. I'm like, all right, this is my job. This is what it's, I do. Yeah. So I'm kind of immune now to the kinds of things I see. Occasionally, you'll see something out of the ordinary. But uh, even the out of the ordinary stuff, I'll just be like, okay, yeah, this is my job. This right. is what I do. You think all it's because right. there's not a creative aspect to what you do? Whereas, whereas I think with, that, and yeah. like I said, my fucked up brain, I just I just don't process things I mean, the when's the last time you pulled a gerbil out of someone's backside? Uh, never. <laughs> never. Yeah. He, has, he hasn't got. Maybe that? for that I'll have an orgasm. <laughs> no, yeah. He did pull out razor blades. Did you pull out razor blades from somebody? Yeah, I pulled out uh, a razor blade and actually uh, a razor blade. Yeah. So what prisoners will typically do is they'll swallow a razor blade or they'll take a paper clip and they'll uh, tape it and then they'll swallow it so that a they don't hurt themselves but b they get a little free vacation out of jail and some drugs and then some fresh air and go home. Yeah. So uh, so I had a girl come in. Uh, right as I'm leaving for the day, of course, uh, this uh, girl came in who had swallowed staples. And so I had to deal with that. And then as soon as I'm getting ready to leave again, this prisoner comes in with the razor blade. So that's kind of <laughs> like my day. And I remember coming in here because same way we started this, he goes, oh, so what have you been up to? Right. And, I was, and I was just like, oh, yeah, well, I did this. And he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa wait, what? Like, we got to right. talk about this. So I, I don't even... I don't know. I'm just like, yeah, this is a little thing. Some guy swallows <laughs> staples. I'm like, the most interesting thing that happened to me is I made a guy do a crunch, you know? Like, you you win that contest. I, yeah. but, but it is, it's interesting that you're, that both of you guys, like, your daily jobs um, are, I mean, it's crazy. It's like, you see some really crazy shit. Like, you, you're opening people up and you're, you're seeing people swallow razor blades, you know? And, and but with, with you, Doc, what you're doing is, there's a creative aspect to it, right? So when you're looking at somebody, you're not just like, oh, this has to come out because it has to come out. You're like, I have to shape somebody to make them look aesthetic. I mean, or, I mean, you, and this re, you know, uh, there's there's a good reason why maybe I, I like, you know, maybe I like male bodies, you know, who knows? I, you know, it's, well, that was another question. I had. You know, it's, I mean, it's, I, I don't know, no homo, but, 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 but uh, it, it, listen, I, we don't judge here. You we know, don't we judge are, here. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I, I, I think a, a nice peck, a good arm, a good uh, is, is. Is sexy, yeah, you know. Yeah. There, there I, is something about admiring a male body without being even sexual, because because people always said like, you know, Jordan, you like bodybuilding because you're because you're closeted gay, and I said I'm closeted gay it has nothing to do with the fact that I like bodybuilding. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, but 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 it's not about that. It's it's just like you could identify. It's more about like I want that on me. So like I know right. it's almost like when you're I watching. Don't, you know, m m no, you you just hit it that I want that on me. Right. And and I mean you know some of the best baseball players and coaches and 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 batting coaches right. never played baseball they're right. just they're, they're just hired because they're good 
you know, batting coaches. I can even break it down to more basically. When I'm watching sports, any sports, any game, right. it's like, I want to fuck that guy. It's like, no, I, want, I wish I can play as well as he's playing. Right. No, <laughs> you're, you're right. You know? So so it's kind of like that with bodybuilding. Or even admiring, like, somebody who's looks, you know, aesthetic. You're like, okay, that looks pretty damn cool. Like, I, I wish right. I kind of had that kind of thing. Not So when I'm sculpting a, a guy's, you know, lateral pecs, down to his yeah. uh, lats, you know, his yeah. pectoralis major muscle. But by the way, I just love his stare because he's looking at me like, you're a fucking closet artist. No. Right? no. <laughs> I just, but <laughs> no. Okay. And, this and, is and why you went into your you know, field and I went into that. You know, and, and, yeah. you know and, and you're sculpting that nice pectoralis major muscle and that hockey stick boomerang shape. Yeah. And you're getting that, that you know, to the lats in the back there. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's, that's. That's that's hot. It's that's, cool, no? Like you feel like when you see that stuff, because you you have one of the few jobs where you see instant results. Like right. you're, you're literally, you can make somebody in. I mean, I mean, there, 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 there's friends of mine in Brazil and in you know a, a, a lot of guys in South America and in Colombia. I mean, they'll take this woman and make the teeniest waist on them, and then inject liters of fat in each buttock, Jesus. and then post op, it's like Mount. Vesuvius or whatever. <laughs> I mean, it's got you know, it, you know it's it, it's that peach, the, the the thing of the peach. I mean, they look freaking awesome. The, these women, the teeniest little waists and these big butts. I mean, Kim Kardashian. Uh, you know, I, I'm she's sure all she, natural. Come on. Yeah, uh, absolutely, <laughs> a- absolutely. I mean, her butt. I mean, she probably goes into hiding every six months and get get, get some fat injected into her butt. It's amazing how many people who get surgery get like more than one you know what i'm saying like yeah. and and do, do you have the do you notice that your practice because men are maybe a little bit different than women when it comes to surgeries but do you notice uh and, and not for the same surgery obviously but do you notice a lot of people coming back for doc i want this done yeah or, no no so i i do the chest and they come back and more often now they want the lower abdomen the flanks and the back done they yeah. they want a soccer butt they want you know uh, do, do you do not, uh, rhinoplasties or not really not anymore okay nah, so you want to specialize in i just specialize? don't want to do that you right, know, right. just you know I, I i don't do them enough if i don't do them enough if i don't do one a week, one a day, you know. I don't right. want to do it. I want to be no. It's it's good of you. I, I can imagine there's some guys. That's like, yeah, it's like I'll I'll do anything. No, sure. No, no. I don't want to. do No, that. he's right because as a doctor, like you're only good at what you practice. So, right. You know, you want to be good, so you want to do. You want to just thing. do it every day. You want to yeah. do it in your sleep. Right. And like you were saying before, it's about repetition in medicine. Right. It literally so, is, man. Right. You know, that's all it is. you know, it's 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 what it is. But but to take out of this is you know something. If people are unhappy with what they look like right. in this day and age of social media, and 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 selfies and YouTube and Instagram. I mean, you, you go on Instagram, you go YouTube, you, everybody's a YouTube star now. Right. And everybody's doing a little Instagram of, of, of them at bars and dancing on the, on the, on the, on the floor or, or they're or walking down the street. Right. Um, everything is visual and, and people, if they're not unhappy and they want something done, well, you know something, do it. Don't, don't, and, and, and don't cheapen out too. Don't say, oh, I mean, sometimes you get this, this work done it's life changing. Right, right. It is life changing. But basically, you're saying if you're making the decision to do it, it's it's not something you want you want to get on a discount because right. it's it's uh, it's pretty serious when when you're going to surgery. And there was a crazy YouTube video I saw, and I'll make it real quick because we'll wrap things up. But it, it, I wish I could remember, and I, I would pull it up. It was probably from ten years ago, and it was about a bunch of botched plastic surgeries from like yeah. people who didn't, who didn't even have like degrees, you know. Right. And people wanted to get a discount on their surgery, and you just see the word. This one guy got got calf implants from this guy from this like just underground like surgeon who worked out of a basement and it got infected and had, had to cut his legs off. And you're thinking like you saved a thousand dollars, but you lost your legs. And, right. And, and it's, it's, but it's, it's, but it's, it's, it's like heartbreaking. Cause you, cause these people clearly want to get this stuff done, but they're, they're trying to cut corners. And I'm like, why would you do that? Like you've already made the decision to do it right. To go into the knife. Now you're going to go to someone who's not even like qualified to be doing this shit. It's well, there's this hang up called monies. Well, I, uh, then well, don't right. do it. <laughs> then just don't do it. You know, you know what? You can save a hundred percent of your money, and not. But but I listen. I understand the mentality, but I also like holy shit. You know, it's like if you're already gonna do something. It's, it's not like buying sneakers because I know you can relate. But you know, like I can buy a shit pair of sneakers. They're still gonna get me down the block, but they're still gonna look like shit. They're gonna look like <laughs> shit. But guess what? I can take them off and throw them in the garbage. Yeah. You get a shit plastic surgery. You can get infections. You can get like. Well, why am I telling you? You know this. <laughs> no, no, no. You're, you're right, and 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 also you got to go to a doctor who who stand by his work. If you're not happy, they goes, you know something. Let me make you happy. How how good? Now, if you've got body dysmorphic disorder, he right. says, oh, I'm do this, I'm do this. Then you know, 
after a while, but, but you know, those pretty, pretty much show up after you've had two surgeries or three surgeries, it's still not happy <clears throat> on, on, on that. And you got to go to somebody also that just doesn't overdo it. Right. You know, some people just do it because, you know, they'll do the, the lipo and they'll do a nipple lift and they'll do fat grafting or a pec implant or this and that. Sometimes it, it looks too, or they'll etch the belly and you look like a ninja turtle. Uh, you, you know, you got to right. be careful. You got to you got to do it subtle and nice and not overdone. You must have like a very. It must be a very difficult challenge because there are probably people like we were discussing before that are a little. I wouldn't say mental, but they they have body. Every once in a while, I'll get somebody body who body dysmorphia, and and they're like, Doc, we've done this four times, and and you're like, I got to be honest, the, God couldn't make this more perfect, but but, but right. in their brain somehow. Mm-hmm. So what do you, I mean, like, because... Well, you can't piss them off. Right, that's because, what I'm saying, because if you... you also, you, get, you piss them off, they're going to go on, right on Yelp <laughs> right. and say, oh, this doctor sucks. R- right. You, you like, know, and that's... So, I mean, right. it's, it's it, you know... you got to be very sensitive to them. you got to be sensitive right. to them and say, listen, you know, I could do this, but you may have this, I can right. do this. And you try to do it, and even if you do a little touch-up, a little this, just right. it may be help, but sometimes they're going to go back and back and back. Right. And that's when you start to get your family involved and say, listen, we're getting a little crazy here, you know, let Let's speak with your with your wife or your mother right. or your you know or or, or some your perspective brother. On what's going on? Yeah, and get right. some perspective and see. You know, is it only me? Is it you? Um, Can you save surgeries, so to speak? So, like, someone that comes in, you're like, oh my god, those lips are awful. Whoever yeah. did that really fucked up. Can you take any plastic surgery that's been done and correct it, or are some things just one and done? Like, if you mess it up, if it's... you mess it up, like gyno, if you mess it up, if you cause an indentation or a gouging, and you have this crater deformity, you're in trouble. Okay. It's very tough. It's very tough. What causes that? Is it taking too, too much out? So, so over resecting. So you do leave some tissue in when you when you take it out, or no? You take out the gland, but you want to contour the fat. So 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 a major thing. Let's say is if if somebody weighs two hundred pounds or two ten, mm. and they really need lipo and gland, but they say, Doc, I really want to spend the money, or I don't want lipo. Just take out the gland, and you kind of acquiesce to their to their wishes, and you take out. You know, sometimes if you do the right operation on the right person, you'll never fail. Interesting. That's well, about it. Um, before we go, I want you to take a look at my nipples. Is that okay? <laughs> sure. All right. And, and 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 can you like feel them and see if you feel anything? In I them? mean, can we have like Howard Stern here? With the, <laughs> you're, like, you're probably like, I wish it was a hotter chick than you. I know. But um, but listen, you decide to work with men, and this is what you get. All right. Right. I mean. So and keep in mind, I used to be fat, and you you can't offend me. You really can. I'm gonna be really pissed <laughs> off later. Um. So I and I have this over here. So. Yeah. So that is, I mean, that's just gland. That's gland. So can, yeah. you, can you feel so, it? So the nipple is. It's okay, you can touch you, me. You may touch it. Touch it, please. Uh, uh, you know. <laughs> and, and, and this, are you and, erect? Are, are, is it, by, by the way, there is might be a nipple I erect. Might, I might probably get some fluid coming. No, in. don't. Look, look. No. Oh, that's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> I grossed him out. Oh, this guy cuts this out for a living. I grossed him out. He's a fraud. <laughs> you saw it though, right? Can I have a tissue? No, it's it's. So you saw that, right? It, it, it's literally it was leaking. I don't know. No, don't squeeze. <laughs> Doc, it doesn't project. I, so, so so I love that I just grossed him out. Um, he's like, yeah, you know, I watch these surgeries of penises getting cut in half, and then I just take my nipple. I was like, no, no, listen. So so with that. Um, so you would just cut that out and, and yeah, you know. lift up here. So, so, so what, what, one thing you do is, is yeah. you want to see if you, if you want to see if you got, got fat or gland mm. is, is if you have a nice shape to the pectoralis major muscle, when you make a muscle and right. you just have, you know, puff titties, have they call, right. call them tough, puff titties, puff, right. puff daddy, yeah. puff, puff daddy. Right. And, and, and you can you... get, get in there and you can grab it. Yeah. Well, that's a little, a little gl- gland there. Now hmm. you are, see, that's gland. See, wow. I, I can get under the meats, the Arby's, the Arby's meats. Did you bring your scalpel? <laughs> you know, on that. So obviously, and then you got to see if you were fat and you right. lost weight. Did you? Did you, are your nipples lower than the pec? You know. Well, I was going to ask you because I, when I was, I mean, it's been years. I mean, I mean, everybody can go at home and your 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 nipples to your. So to your super sternal notch, that little notch above your neck, from the neck notch to the nipple should be 21 centimeters. Mm. It's, it's, it, actually, it's a perfect triangle. 21 centimeters, 21 centimeters, and then, is that is, I, I, isosceles or a perfect? Yes. Uh, what, what's a, what's a, what, what's, what's a three? Isosceles triangle, right? Is a, is a three the equal three size. Three same angles? Yeah. I believe so. I'll have to double check I didn't graduate elementary school, right. so. Is an isosceles or, well, it's not a right angle. Yeah, it's, I'm forgetting the other term for it. It's not obtuse. Not obtuse. 
I think it's sure isosceles. isosceles yeah. I think so. It should be 21 centimeters. So 21 centi- centimeters from the superstone notch to each nipple, and then from each nipple should be 21. So centimeters. would there be skin removal here too, or just no, gland? Ju- just gland. Oh, so I wouldn't have to worry about you t- cutting the skin off and pulling it, like stretching it down. No, I mean if somebody's low and this and that, we can do a nipple lift. There's some drawbacks on that. But it would go back, a, so it would technically go back to where it should be. It once should you take be it out. higher, and I, I use quilting stitches, okay. so I actually take the skin above of the nipple and and actually jack it to the pectoralis major muscle to kind of lift it up. A little bit. Do you ever have any idea before you take it out how big it's going to be, or is it always a surprise to you? It's always a surprise. You kind of never know. It's like a box of chocolate. <laughs> yeah, you never no. know what you're gonna. I, that's, that should be in a movie or something. It I does. Know. I think it is. I, I should put that in there. I think he's hinting at taking that tissue home and eating it. Yeah. 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 Actually, we 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 do gland in hand where the patients, you know, touch the glands. I've seen that video. That you was know? the video that I was like, holy shit. You, you know, we do. He has this. Do you, have you seen this? So basically, after the the surgery is done, the the glands are on the table, and he there was one video. So you made your uh, patient. The guys cut him. He's cutting it in half, and it's like rubbery and stuff. And they're pretty big. And, and what's I, funny is I've actually, I, I, I've actually dared somebody to eat their own glands and I'll refund the money. I've actually nobody, you, you know. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you know. All right. So if I grossed it by that little drop of, uh, of I, I say, if, if I take your glands out and you eat it, <laughs> the, the surgery, you got to eat it, though. I, these glands it's got to pro- be like in Fear Factor. Doc- you got to eat the <laughs> these glands. These glands produce milk. I, I'm not touching these. I, I'm not. I'm not drinking my own my own breast milk. <laughs> but this has been happening. So this actually, people think like, oh, you must be taking a lot of shit. I feel like this has been happening when I was a heavy kid. I was. I was. Yeah. I had, I had water. I mean, like it, it was almost like water is clear. Sometimes it's like brown and this and that. I've had MRIs and stuff. It's not. It's not from tumors or anything like that. No. So, so it, it's clearly just the, the the tissue itself. Just the tissue itself. And what's funny is, and you might hear this too, depending on what I eat diet wise or this or that or yeah. alcohol. Yeah, it will affect yeah. that you know, and sometimes, and it and it shrinks and grows. So in other words, I've had it where it's very small, not noticeable. I've had it where it's large to the point where even wearing this shirt, you'd be like, "Holy shit!" Like, what yep. is going on, Jordan? So 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 you can shrink it for sure, but it's always going to be there unless you get it cut out. It's gonna once it's there, you can't. It's a, maybe if you take an aromadase, it, it's painful. It'll 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 lessen the pain. Right, Some right. people say I can't lay on my stomach, I can't touch it, I, I can't run. If you take if that hurts and you don't care about the mass, if it hurts, then take a an an, an estrogen you know blo- you know in a a, a blocker. Yeah. Uh, and and it, the the discomfort will go go away. But what? But the mass won't. The well, mass won't. That just has to get cut out of if that's what they want. It, you know, get rid of. Get, as, as I say, get rid of the tissue, get rid of the issue. That's it. What do you, what do, you do with the – by the way, one last thing. I've always wondered this by both all surgeons, but what do you do with that shit after you're done? Do you, do you just, like, put it in a freezer or something? No, like, the local chi- Chinese food. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, like, do you just cook with that? Broccoli, or, broccoli. Yeah. And, yeah, no, a little – you know, it looks like a little stir fried broccoli. It's an extra yeah. uh, stream of revenue, right? Yeah, that th- it's so ru- you can make chewing gum out of it. It seems so rubbery and stuff. The the uh, breast tissue. It, uh, yeah, I Did mean, you just save that, put it into women. Like, how does that work? Does it get recycled? Like, what what, what happens? You know, or, or medical you, medical waste. They dispo- what really so medical waste? They got dedicated uh, bins for that, and they just burn it. Like, what do they incinerate it? I don't know what they do with yeah, it. Staten but. Island. <laughs> they are definitely using that to like clone us. I, I do. I do not trust those motherfuckers. They are cloning. They go us. to Staten Island. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it mutates into 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 fucking other beings and stuff. I don't know. I, I don't try. I do not trust them with my body parts just flying around. Anyway, I don't know. Right, I guess you're not getting the surgery. I guess not. I guess not. Well, not today. You didn't bring a. I thought he was gonna bring a scalpel. We're gonna perform it on the bed over yeah, here. Just, just yeah. Move, <laughs> move the microphones. We'll, yeah, we'll yeah, 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 yeah. Give go. me. The, we we got some alcohol out you, there. Doc, you want to get some views? Do that. We'll do it in the studio. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> anyway, it was, uh, dude. It's so cool. It was you cool. Came, yeah, I mean, cool. I, you came I, to see us. Hello. Yeah, thanks for coming. Hour and a half. Yeah, like hour and forty. Almost. I mean, should we should we talk about anything else? I mean, what, I mean, I, you I got mean, anything else on your mind? Yeah. No, no. Everything. Everything's. I think we. I think we covered it all. Um, or at least, fun. Yeah, and, and uh, we talked about a little bit of everything here. Yeah, why don't you tell us where we can find you? Yeah. Oh, so, so uh, you know, uh, I'm Dr. Jonathan Leibowitz, and uh, I specialize in gynecomastia, and I'm in Long Island, New York, Huntington, Long Island, New York, and I get people from literally all over the place. I mean, I get people from, from the, the Arab countries, I mean, a lot. Uh, I just operate on somebody from Dubai. I get UK a lot, Canada a, a, a lot. Because in Canada and, U, and, and UK, believe it or not, Jordan, they, they just want to liposuction this, this thing out. Uh, they oh, think they can treat it, bullshit, or work, they'll yeah. take like one of those orthopedic uh, um, raspers where they, you know, the where, where they take like cartilage out and, and think they can do it. No, no, you have got to just cut it out, right? And you got to make that nipple incision and cut it out. So uh, my of- office phone number is six three one four two four zero one zero one. You can email me at jonathanleibowitzmd at gmail dot com. My uh, Instagram and YouTube channel is both at 
uh, Dr. Leibowitz, D-R-L-E-B-O-W-I-T-Z. Um, what am I missing? YouTube? You just said YouTube already? Yep. Same. You, same. You said YouTube okay. is uh, D-R Leibowitz, Dr. Leibowitz. Watch him on YouTube, guys. Like, I, that's how I found I mean, him. I mean, it's, it's fun. He, he posts a lot. Of, and even if you're not, like, even if you don't have gyno, like, just to watch it, if you're if you're just, a, like, crazy about watching that shit, like, it, it's it's fascinating to see. To see him work with people and just literally, they're up, they're up while you do this. Right, no, they and you pull it out and and it's they they drive themselves home or they take Uber back to the hotel. It's 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 kind of fun. It's a fascinating thing for for especially people who don't know a lot about it. It's just just to watch if you're kind of a science nerd or, or something like that. And, and and then if you do have gyno, I mean, I would say give him a call because uh, he's one of these guys who's all over social media and stuff like that. And uh, and dude, I, I really appreciate you coming out here. I mean, to, I mean, to talk you, to us, there's you know? there's you know you, you can get gyno done by anybody else, but don't but, though. But, 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 but <laughs> come don't. on, I'm trying to. Sell no, you here, Doc. No, no, but but you know how many people say, "Oh, Doc, I'm 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 three three weeks out, and yeah. and it looks like my gyno's back." I go, "Well, what are you bothering me for? Go go back to your doctor." <laughs> right. You know, but um, you know, do it right. Do it the first time. Um, you, you you need the technology and you need the experience. Right. And, and go to a doctor who's actually willing to do it himself. He's yeah. literally going to he's going I'm to the gonna be doing it. And, and you know something? I'm going to film mine. I'm going to be do it. I'm going to be absolutely filming mine and putting it on YouTube. I, I really think, in all seriousness, I think that's this that's, that's brilliant that you're going to do, do that because yeah. that's going to that'll promote you a lot more because how many plastic surgeons film their own surgery? <laughs> I don't know a lot. Yeah. Right? So um, that's awesome. And uh, again, thanks for coming out, man. No. This was a lot of yeah, fun. Thank you. Thank you. All right, cool. Thank you. All right. All right, bye bye.